greater a task than you even know. So please utilize those in the match arena. Our first match, me again versus PME and PME on near and Anila for me again. Yeah, or it's the other way around because of the glitch there, actually. There's a little bug on the names. <laughs> Either way, uh, Nier, character going to need to get used to seeing. Definitely very strong in the current iteration of the yes. game. Has been absolutely a menace on ladder for just about everyone here. But we'll see how uh, how our rams and our sheeps and everything in between are able to do as we're able to try and close this distance. But Nier getting that first touch, not too much consequential off it. But look at the corner push already. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to try to navigate this uh, offensive pressure from near. That setup was deep. That's a great call to use that guard cancel. Plus a little back step to catch you with him. Good start for PME. And again, do not try to tech throws in Grand Blue. You'll die for it. Great raging chain to carry back to the corner. And then able to re-establish the pressure afterwards. Goes for the jump over, but unfortunately corners themselves. And only one Bravery point remaining. So taking even extra damage on top of this. With this awakening, I think you're just dead. Because, yeah, I mean, that's a great spend to go for the Super Skybound art here. You are dead. <laughs> that extra damage with the only one bravery point remaining is just massive. Such a huge hit. You have to keep track of those meters. Using the guard cancel is so strong, but you cannot let yourself get caught like that. Yeah, that is so tough. And Sejam popping in with an alrighty then. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight on Grand Blue. Good to see and again, appreciate everybody for helping us claim these codes, knock these out early and often. Thank you very much to everybody for that. As we get that touch once again, goes in the EX. Corner carry is good, but doesn't get too much else afterwards. Back to neutral. Five stocks left here on near as well. So that's only going to be five times to use death until a little bit of a recharge here. But the Anila pressure, keep it going. Sheeps, I'm going to fall asleep if you keep counting these sheep. Oh man, with 6XL, always such a menace. He's gonna use the Raging to be able to get that extra confirm. And now oh, the sandwich situation, but a great tech. Teching in Grand Blue. You're you're insane for that, you know? Could it? All right, so we got that full screen zoning. More cheap to follow through. And it's so tough to spot dodge the ultimate skill send from death here. And that will be a game. Me again, taking that first one. And just so everybody knows, if you haven't seen the rule set, it is going to be two out of three all the way until top eight. The entirety of top eight will be three out of five. So short sets going up to that top eight, so not a lot of room to adapt here. But PME with a great touch, going to leave it standing, tries to go for the throw, but a really, really good press again for me. Okay, nice neutral jump here from me again. Oh my gosh. All right. So we got that Skybound, good grip of damage, build right back up on the uh, battle points if you lost one, but Burgerman got the $10 contribution to the match arena to ensure that the action keeps going, a Raging Chain to finish it up. Yeah, using that Raging Chain for that, uh, a, that pseudo uh, that pseudo launcher for everyone being able to get those extensions. Very, very nice here as we go for the 6-6-L. Nice little spot. Thought should be able to avoid the 6-6-L of their own. People getting much better at adapting to that, but the throw afterwards, a good little yes. mix-up. Absolutely. Yeah, 6XL, definitely one of those things that I feel like a lot of players have to just kind of get used to to really navigate around it. Uh, but then when it's coupled with the layers that is death backed by Nair, like, it's kind of hard to go for these spot dodges in general, like jump-ins or even 6XL uh, spot dodges get a little bit risky because of that. You're going to get caught by those throws or even a potential follow-up here because you're just stuck in position. Okay, Ultimate Skill didn't get too much here. It's still able to get the touch afterwards, though. And extend this almost at 100 bar here. Should be able to spend, but doesn't spend anything. Ooh. Instead, the guard cancel comes out. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> guard cancel and going to get caught by the opener. Raging strike. That will do it. 2-0 for near to start things off. Right, the game is in a, uh, a pretty good place right now. Obviously, certain things are strong, but we're going to get a treat right Ooh. now. Oh Uber man, cheesecake. I didn't get to see Uber Cheesecake at DreamHack, but of course, Uber Cheesecake sticking with this Ladiva. Actually, ran into them during the beta and uh, with this uh, Ladiva as well. I didn't get to play uh, against them, unfortunately, they had to dip out, but Ladiva still in Uber Cheesecake's hands is such a threat. And we did get to see real ice this past weekend on top of that with this Zeta play coming through. 
Yeah, this is a character that's very, another one of those characters that is one of the main offenders that's very unsurprising to see. I think very, very strong in the current iteration of the game. Definitely very, very good at being able to get the strike throw going as well as just control neutral, which is going to be one of the toughest things for the Diva in this matchup. Obviously a little low and slow when it comes to closing the distance, but a little chesto action to be able to get there. Oh, the 2H! The Diva blessed the nice dunk with the ultimate skill, but people's elbow has a word. Oh my god. Escaping the love, you just can't do it. Has to use the guard cancel there. It does get away a little bit with that bravery point off the table. Gotta make sure you're keeping track of the management, but is able to duck the lariat. Yeah, that's very good here. Continuing pressure after thrust. Oh, no escape, and it slows things down too. Vera with the $25 contribution. Thank you so very much. Of course, a long time European supporter of the Grand Blue Sea. Huge shout outs as we're able to get that. That was such a sick conversion from that distance. Mm. Was able to get that extra little bit. I say the magic number with Zeta for the most part is you are looking for plus 48 on your knockdowns to be able to get the, the most optimal situations to set up for like your universal fuzzies, everything in between. So generally that's where you're trying to end and that's such a good situation to be able to set that up. Now the dance does begin, 6XL finds their way in and I love the back and forth again to open up, catch the whiff opportunity. Real life, doing a pretty good job biding their distance. The two of you classic from the Diva. Yeah, you can find the knockdown with the EX though. Sends a little further. There comes the. Okay, able to use the guard cancel. Really good to get out of that situation. Send her back to full screen. You cannot get close. She's six L punish. Yeah, see, so you're gonna see a lot of folks really trying to navigate that neutral space. Six six L. It does have a lot of utilization. Great to continue pressure. But as you get into these higher level situations, you're gonna see things like spot dodging, a call out on a guard cancel. Uber Cheesecake is in the zone right now until Lariat West gets scooped up. Oh, and a little Goomba Stomp action there is able to get the low further on the extension. And again, trying to look for that plus situation, set it up. Nice block, but still plus. Guard cancel on Smart, no bravery points. Uber could just get one confirm. Until they get called out, though, by the falling drill. Good round. Battle three. Wow, very back and forth here. And again, two out of three. Have to be careful about how much time you've got to go with this one. Crouching medium, very, very good little stop sign there to try and keep the diva a little honest, but it's not going to work out for too long. Gets the clash and the knockdown. It just looks so much worse than it is. Pressure out, got a thrust out of the corner. A little early on the spot dodge. It's a fine call, especially with the charge of the beam. <laughs> we are making our way across the screen, one little dash at a time. Every step building up a little bit more meter. I mean, meter usage has increased exponentially with this version of the game, but you gain meter so much faster than you ever did before. Yo, where do you think you're going? And a follow up. Oh no, Ladifa, please. Oh, wakes up with a strike though. Very nice on the normal. Is able to get that extension. Oh, we are not killing here. That's just at least a carry to get to the corner. There we go. <laughs> I just like the, the post round headbutt. Hey, Ladiva's Ladiva's so cool. I don't have the uh, I don't have the willpower to make it worth myself, so I'm so I got so much respect for the warriors They're out here taking her for a spin, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing too, is amongst all the top tier picks you could expect, there's none more loyal than a Ladiva player. Because they're out here sticking to it and still putting in plenty of work and obviously seeing a lot of uh, a lot of growth out of this version of Ladiva too, just simply with the additional skill settings that she does have now. Getting so much mileage out of 60 cell though, that's a great headbutt. Ooh, stand in. Interesting. So Flurry thrust out of there. Not a third one coming in. We're just going to try to walk this down and built enough meter for this offense. But the low to you. Got to be so careful. That ultimate skill lariat. We've seen that jump scare a couple times now, but the 6XL once again gets that little connection. A little bit of damage at a time is more than enough at this point. Uber Cheesecake going to take the shot, but the guard cancel pushes away and the throw. It's so fascinating to see how liberal Real Ice is spending battle points just on guard cancels alone. 
and Uber just kind of holding on to him, really. Like, we haven't seen too much of, like, a uh, uh, Raging Chain follow-up. It's kind of taking him. Okay, not able to spot dodge. Got the ultimate skill to bounce off the wall. Hot pressing to you on Wake Up. The reversal classic from Ladiva. And was able to get that jump over. So mm -hmm. did get the side switch, but unfortunately back to mid screen now. Realized plenty of room to roam. Ooh. That's a great dodge. The correct answer to ultimate Larry whenever you can. Too well again off the wall. Nice pickup. EX. Oh, oh yeah, we're definitely taking oh my this God. one. The drill to pierce the heavens, bro. <laughs> Take Absolutely. the game. <laughs> Gurren Tapa Zeta. Where's the other way around? Is Tapa Gurren Lagan, right? He got me, man. Bro, <laughs> you can't throw Mecha at me and not expect me I'm to sorry, ask you I'm about sorry, Mecha. <laughs> one to one, though. And again, two out of three. Very important game here. You've got to stay in the winner's bracket. Nice tech to start this. And Cheesecake, looking like they were taking a little bit more aggressive when they were going for this run forward here, trying to stick out a little more normal, steal some turns, potentially get these counter hits. They were able to get a great whiff punish on the jump in. Nice. Already press a reset to command grab. Uh oh. We got her in the infinite. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Jesus, 2H! Oh my god, I feel like Zed doesn't feel like they can get away with that. What a crazy good hitbox on that 2H to completely obliterate it. Set point. This this is just so terrifying to watch. Simply because Uber Cheesecake is doing a splendid job of walking Zeta down. And that that alone is just terrifying. <laughs> like, uh, Zeta should be in control of this matchup, 100%. But Uber Cheesecake has been through thick and thin, has gone through vanilla grand blue, understanding that already at a disadvantage with Ladiva, but still making her work. All right, got the Raging Chain to follow up. Already 50% life lead. Still full BP, so it's not going to be as much on uh, damage loss as it could have been. Yeah, oh, that dead, follow up. Nice follow up. Yeah, the ultimate, the ultimate dive kick there is such a good, arguably in the conversation for the best strike throw bait option that comes out through the game. Yeah. Jesus, man, what a reward on that. I'm out here getting all my tech from uh, Gambino on <laughs> Zeno right now. Flurry, another drill as well. The follow through, honestly, to just get that full space, force the walk down. But at the same time, you're giving Uber Cheesecake so many resources to be able to use ultimate skills. But Real Ice is really forcing Uber Cheesecake to get comfortable walking forward. Now able to get headbutt out. Yo, done. Okay, opportunities here. It was a little too far for the standing medium, so unfortunately loses out on some of that pressure. It does get that small jump forward, though, and another guard cancel. One BP remaining here, so that little bit of extra damage taken on right now. Yeah, I mean, one touch is going to be devastating here for real ice. So many hits. Yo, I think you got caught. You did. You tried to roll forward. And look at the life bar, and now with the, oh, the BP is at zero. Actually, anything will do it. Now it's just a waiting game. Uber doesn't have to really commit too much, and the jump in will succeed. That is a 2-1 victory here for Uber Cheesecake over Real Ice. <laughs> and it's like you said, didn't need the commitment, but decided, I feel like it's I'm ready to commit. You know, the holiday seasons, we get a lot of engagements. He said, I'm ready to commit. It's just kind of enhanced the gameplay for her, but we're getting straight into our next one. A little personal action to come through this time. Okay. Yes, Prada on the Percival, I believe. believe Inspector on Cagliostro. Let's see, because y'all be changing his names. Ah, I was wrong. Prada on Cagliostro. Okay. It's a All mix right, of well, itself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, that, that one little bug where both players have the exact same name, like, I, I'm not sure who it is. But. Yeah, Cagliostro, another one of those characters who you talked about Barry just being uh, a little bit stronger now with this change. Cagliostro, that right there alone is going to be <laughs> something to watch out for. Her true reversal and ultimate skill makes it a little bit difficult to keep track for. Teleporting ability, also that much worse. Nice! Oh! Oh! 
Wow, the run, the run pass with the trap set up. The super gonna very easily kill. What a follow up and what a lead off to our first showing of Kag here on the stream. Jesus, man. Stop it. You had the trap set up with overhead and it put, pushes the opponent back onto it. Yo. I hate Come on. <laughs> That's fair. There you go, all the way to the wall though, gets that extra extension, sets up the trap, nice block on the overhead there, not trying to say, fall for the same stuff twice, the hop Ooh. over, but now cornered himself! Yes, good roll through there from Inspector, fool me once, that was cool, I'm not gonna fall for it again! Oh no, Bruh. gotta hold that block, but actually there was a counter, so try to challenge for 5L there. Okay, not there to go for the 2L there, poke that trap whenever you can, rock him through, not gonna get much, but the teleport gets the clean connection. Yeah, should be able to kill here. We do have an ultimate skill on deck. No, oh, just two A's doesn't follow up with anything. Actually spent all of our abilities to do it, but good dodge with the Skybound Art. Prada taking that first game easy peasy. Wow, just taking control at every single stage, man. Yeah. The mix, the mix ups in the corner with the traps have just been absolutely ridiculous here. Is able to get the traps for the startup now, just to kind of control this space. Yep, nope, not your turn. You gotta hold that teleport. Make sure you're holding onto that block button for Kaglo. She's definitely gonna run away with a lot of these teleport setups. It's it's tough to hold back. I totally get it. Oh, what a sick follow-up. And was able to get the side switch for the second trap. Good routing to be able to make that work. Of course, Prada, you may remember, Prada was actually in the grand finals position there for CEO Taku this past year. So, of course, we're expecting a strong performance to continue along with this Cagliostro, who just got a little bit stronger in this version of the game, let's be honest. All right, nice jump install, got the teleport set up again, it's been working 100% of the time. Put right back onto the trap, but nice poke with the 5L attempt. Ah, uh, like, dude, again, that teleport has just been absolutely ridiculous, finding hits very cleanly off of basically every situation with it. And now, with the EX trap in the corner, goes for the hop over, but nice Whoa. answer! All right, that's a nice little follow-up. You got 25% usage out of your meter for that, though. Try to go for 2 wage. it's, you know, that you can't. You gotta wait for Cagliostro to appear first before you decide to pressure. That's a 2-0 victory for um, Prada. Like, just for playing the character myself, Zeta has a good enough matchup spreader. I don't really think you need to think about a secondary too much. Yeah, I think Zeta towards the end of Grand Blue Versus was really seeing a lot of exploration. There was that time period where she wasn't necessarily like the cream of the crop across the board. Like definitely Percival started to really shine in that version of the game. But this one here, like just again, she is so strong, especially in that neutral approach. It's I think the contention right now is between her and uh, and Nira at this point, right? So just terms of neutral aggression. But yeah, this command grab from Vera gonna make things a little bit difficult here because now you're gonna get the uh, float hops uh, pressure, also a little bit more fairy pressure on top of it as well, different crowding opportunities. Yeah, being able to use that dive and just like that, using that hop to respace yourself is so huge, as well as we're gonna probably see in pressure later that dive is plus two, so you can leave yourself in really, really strong situations if you can get your opponent, if you can catch them looking. Yeah. Take to the sky, already got coast to coast. On your wake up! A raging strike and no BP. This is a grip of damage. A great spend on the ultimate skill to guarantee that next hit to follow up. Wow, and that's just exchanging BP like good out of style. Way to go for both players here. Vera tries to go for the dive, but the easy jump up and the air to air. Very smart on the pressure. All the way to the corner already. That back dash, staggered pressure, 6-6L, six, six, not your turn. dropped but that's okay we still recover in time i was gonna get another extension for a loop on the uh uh combo routing i think we could have done another 5m after that one i have to double check this here yeah jesus the ultimate skill to be able to get the pickup afterwards as well Chata just didn't really have a good answer at any single point for that. Once you get to the corner, this character's pressure is just unreal, man. She just feels like she has an answer to everything when she doesn't have to worry about you having any room to retreat. Yeah, absolutely. And next time you say it, you gotta say, like, just how Charmander says it in Pokemon. <laughs> Stack your pressure in the corner again. No guard cancels coming out from Char-Char either. 
I feel like that's Ooh. in my games with Vera. That's been the hardest thing is trying to convince my opponent. I don't even really want the command throw. Don't worry about it. Don't think. Quit thinking about it. <laughs> like, she's trying yeah, to go absolutely. for it again. <laughs> I see Vera run up to me. I'm like, ah, it's gonna be fun. There's no way you're gonna command grab, and it's command grab. Why? You have six XL. What are you doing? Oh uh, man. Oh no. Neutral jump L here from SP. We'll find the mark. Char Char just trying to reach into the cooking jar a little bit too soon. Not smooth. Damn, and that's gonna put another round on the board. The potential for the set right here. SQ trying to get out of the dodge in a hurry. Ooh. Beam gonna work out just fine. I think we almost wanted to do a spot dodge in that situation, which would have left uh, SQ in a very precarious position. Beautiful 2H, but too early on the EX flutter uh, follow up here. Okay, pressure. And it's gonna end you minus, but that's okay. Yeah, dash low, very smart in that situation. You got plenty of time. Oh, very weird. That should have connected right there. Vera's face was right in Zeta's boot. There we go. Low enough for the 2H and full conversion here. It's a quick damage. Regular throw, not the command. Okay. Connection there. He's going to go for full raging chain. And the follow up. Yeah. Oh, Spot Dodge is still able to get the 2U. Another knockdown. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, a lot of damage. Able to string a ton together after the super. Definitely a smart decision with SQ having just pretty expertly navigated every single attempt at the command throw here, not being able to apply the the buff naturally. Yeah, I think a lot of that was just a scramble that got away from SQ there because she had the right answer with that spot dodge. Didn't expect a button to be pressed immediately after the super activation from Char Char and then just could not pick up the pieces after because there were a lot of wonky hits that Char Char was connecting and none of them were getting solid confirmation. So SQ unsure wouldn't take that turn back. And we got that falling button after Pogo. Can we get pushed back with this install? Ooh. That is a perfect answer with the anti-air. Knew that that command movement was going to try to come out. She is so fast when she's dashing forward. But a perfect answer from SQ. Oh, no. <laughs> Dropped the skybound art. One touch, though. SQ still able to get out. A-OK. -okay. I mean, you have a massive life leaf. That was tragic. It, it was one of those things where it was just a bit too low after the EX thrust. Think, yeah. To but Siegfried, I mean, Siegfried is a very interesting take on the on, on the game so far. I think he does a great job with the uh, with the overall system mechanics. Obviously, being a new character, oh, feels, like, feels like they were designed for him. Uh, oh, no, but Bisu switched to, to hey, Belial. Okay. I thought I like so. I was like, yeah, Bisu Dang definitely shit. plays Belial, but I would not be surprised to, to your point, Siegfried does have so many tools in this game that uh, utilize that does get complemented by the new mechanics here. Like, of course, because Siegfried was built from the ground up for Grand Blue versus Rising and really does so well. Like, there's just the damage output alone from that character is insane, especially the follow-ups that he gets. That that 2M, very much like Belial 2M. It's much better than it needs to be, but hey, if you got a Shoto crouch medium kick, may as well keep sticking with it. Jump in he is going to get anti-air by Lunar, though. Yeah, definitely an answer there. In the projectile, tries to close the distance. Use the EX as kind of a jump scare to be able to get there all the way to the corner now. But we, yeah, we just mash out very nice. Yep. Nice couple of two L's. Mess around and find out. Wow, a little bit too far for that throw attempt. Beast is still aiming to get the crouch medium adjustment here. Oh, good teleport here. And a smart Raging Chain follow-up from Lunar to guarantee the corner. A little bit of a side swap, but Beisu with a bitch dollar contribution Jesus. says that's A-OK, -okay, Lunar. You're still going to get the W. Wow, thank you so much for the $50. That is going to actually put us over 100 in the match arena. Comment attached is 2B hype true. Honestly, can't wait to see it. But again, thank you to you and to everybody who's been helping with the match arena. Over $100 already. And I know we can take it even higher, dude. We got plenty of time. Definitely make sure you check it out. To be hype or not to be. That is the question. And I'm hyped for that air throw right at the unique action from Belial. Good pickup with the Raging Shade, too. That corner with Trap set up one more time. Couple more hexes for you. Oh, still running on here. Okay, that's a good follow up there. The EX, nice block. Ooh. Very nice conversion. Doesn't get very much, though. Yeah, did commit to go for the Raging Chain. That would have been a very consistent route, but I don't think we were ready for it. Or sometimes it does happen where you mash out that Raging Chain and just does not come out because it was too quick an input during the initial Raging Strike hit.
Lunar showing off one of my favorite things too. In a situation like that, especially when you're already low on health, uh, might as well just spend your BP guard cancel, be aggressive with it. I like a lot of the times, once you're in a situation where you're already at one hit, you might as well just spend your resources to try and grind advantage here. That's great on the counter hit too, B to be able to continue to convert and the strike throw. Look at the life totals. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna have to respect the DP out from Cagliostro, but everyone forgets that teleport follow up after. It's so good. Sandwich between the rock and a hard place. Quite literally here, the hula dance does get blocked by his two L. Yeah, you got those? Yeah, yeah, we got those with the 2M, but no animation follow up. That's unfortunate. A bit too far, but the pinwheel will get the kill. So. Battle 2. Engage. Belial. Great character. Honestly, one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion, just out of aesthetics alone. Hey, uh, they are kind of hurt. <laughs> Maybe in the 5A is able to get throws and no escape. Take that pressure here. I like the timing on that jump. Tried to match the spot dodge afterwards. Is able to just barely get over on the jump through. Yeah, tried to go for a jump U there and was not able to quite thread the needle. No punish on the hula hoop. Had to respect. Actually, wow, the 2L ate up that trap below Belial there. Let's go for sky bounce. Kill, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure. Especially you potentially were going to be in trouble there. Uh, ending the combo out of the corner, but able to make it work. Able to get the kill. Gets the counter into the teleport, though. Yeah, you know, traditionally, that super wasn't so hot for uh, Cagliostro in the previous version of the game. Beautiful 2-8. Follow. Yeah, it should be Pretty good on the low there from Blau, but unfortunately a little too far away. Does get the EX follow-up. Can't quite get anything, but still is able to maintain pressure afterwards. Too well. Now right after. Nice pinwheel follow-up. Should be able to get. Yes, the super. I don't... Okay, we got our animation. We're good. Dude, so sick. <laughs> can, we, can, can we just retouch on the aesthetics comment from earlier from you? He's so sick. He's so cool. <laughs> He's super attractive and cool. I mean, come on. Boy. No one's denying this. I hear, I listen, you're, I, I'm, I'm on the same, same team, same team. <laughs> Star just straight in with the pinwheel. A little bit of damage here, but you don't want to get caught full screen too often against her. Uh, Pegasus are obviously going to be able to dominate at that range here. So you have that distance closed and now starting a little bit of that stagger pressure. Chain follow up here to get. I can't believe we got enough to build right back up for that super as well. Like you said, you built so much meter, getting that clean hit again. And very nice on the air to air confirmed. Great routing to be able to secure the kill. Yeah, absolutely. Being able to juggle with raging strike is going to be crucial for a lot of routing whether you spend it with raging chain after which is 25 percent of your meter or you just use it for that you know something similar like tap dust extensions on uh, uh in guilty gear right like you're going to get that extra carry to open up more damage possibilities 5h is the big stop sign for cagliostro though but he out Okay. Again, nice reset with the command throw. The walk-up is definitely strong. There's the EX. Gets counter hit afterwards, though. Nice Whoa. press and a great instant overhead. Yes. Tried to throw. Got to be so careful. Nice. Got our setup situation here. The teleport does get respected, but now we're in chip range. One special is all that we need to get the kill on Bisu. Guard cancel definitely strong. What? Avoiding oh, oh my god, just trying to sidestep everything. Oh. Ah. Tough. I mean, I was believing the way we were dodging bullets like that. Three. Shout out to Cinnamon, by the way, the homie George coming through with the sub, man. Thank you very, very much, as always, dude. And, and tried to keep the extension going with the EX pinwheel, but fell out, unfortunately. Image pick up again, goes for Skybound Art. 
please give the animation because you're going to get this kill. 2 1 victory here for Bisu. With the perfect to close it out. Dude, I mean, that's just the kind of momentum this guy can build up. Well, two aspects of the Belial matchup make him so much more terrifying than he really is on paper. Because to your point, right? Like, if you look at another character that's all CQC, Sora's, you know, yeah. has a very different approach. Now, very different here in this version because Sora just gets in and there's no stopping Sora there. <laughs> yeah. But B Paw versus SQ, the match to start things off here. A top eight qualifier, Fairy versus Zeta. And, you know, previously, SQ on the ferry as well. This time around, sticking with Zeta in Grand Blue Rising. Okay, a little bit of a stare down there between the two. I like that really nice angle on the dive kick as well. Mm -hmm. Got a good mastery of the movement here. Goes for the guard cancel, dashes up for the throw, but a nice tech. Slow and steady. SQ controlling Ooh. the pace, though. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try to focus to get out of the corner here. A little easier said than done because of the threat that Zeta has at that range. And b is very likely thinking in this match right now that SQ knows exactly what they're going for in as Fairy. Simply because of that Fairy experience previously. We're not going to get any jump out here. Not going to go for web swing. Just pure hula hoop pressure. There's the web swing to avoid the fireball. Just having to apply pressure afterwards here. That's a little, little helper. Not quite going to get there. He's going to go for the super. Mm -hmm. Lockdown great 6-6-L. Six, six, that block will move GG off the field. Nice. Got the 2-L. The stand L, 2-L. That is going to open up b -Pod. And take the first round for SQ. Wow, maybe a little too much patience there, but ends up getting it okay. 6-6-L, six, six, the barrage of plus frames, ends up us all the way to the corner already. I've been seeing a lot of folks lately just kind of do that at round start. But when you're unsure of how the opponent is going to open up, especially too with a character like Fairy, who can kind of win round start against your character, waiting is totally fine. Like this is a game where you can absolutely be patient and counter what the opponent's going to do without any sort of penalty to yourself. Like. The exception being, of course, meter build for the opponent as it dash up to you or pressure with block, uh, with block strings, but yo, thrust, the ball is gone. Okay, drops the combo, but still the job is done. Being able to get away from the super was huge. Yeah. Let's see if we go for pogo jump there, but drop the combo after allowing b -Paw to get the guard cancel. One BP left for b -Paw. What a bait! Okay, really good damage here. Big opportunity. Set with a couple five H's. Yeah, you have to respect these guard cancels because that will remove GG. There you go. Good tech, and now just full respect here because 66L is the threat. And opened up. b -Paw was ready to respect another string right after. But nothing was coming there. SQ dash up throw. Battle one. Engage. Oh, and immediately trying to take the fight forward. Can't quite get close enough for the throw. Yep, stagger pressure gets the hit. Corner carry is huge from Zeta as always. But there, just wakes up with a normal clean touch. Up dog for you. And again, it's going to be so hard to apply pressure at full screen against a character like Zeta because of her beam, because of how quickly she can just thrust in to ignore GG entirely. And that removes GG right off the field every time you block. Right, ball set up. Keep you in your place. That's exactly what B-Paw is looking for. A wasted BP, but a great opportunity that does not go to waste for B-Paw. That rising JL, so cool from Barry. What a nice little string of pressure. To be able to get that clean touch on the lockdown. But that dive kick does get the side swap. 6XL to get the anti-air. Not very much damage, but again, corner carry is really just the name of the game, but Jesus. Yeah, that 5H, oh my goodness. Run up, 5 0 pressure. Nice. Thrust pick up on top of that there, but nothing going after. B Pop rightfully stealing a turn back with that stand L. Pull it back in. Good block from SQ. Oh, that line, too well. Okay. <laughs> Wins out the strike throw, sets it up again. A little too far, but here comes the super. Can you respond? The ultimate skill absolutely does. Yeah, B-Paw could have want to play this 
distance game as safely as, as we can, but wow, the aerial thrust. What a finish with that ultimate skill. Tied up in the rounds. Jesus, the back-to-back -back ultimate skill from full screen to not only get the corner carry, but all of that damage. Unreal, as well as 6-6-L, just a rush pass. GG in the air, not even able to get to the ground to be helpful. Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately got that Dalsim type of normal on the whip. So the trade will happen in favor for SQ. Big counter hit, stand five, or stand H. The stand stand, you like it? The stand stand. <laughs> no, we like it. There you go, pressure again on the jump in. Nice, I like the guard cancel on the 6-6-L, but unfortunately can't get anything afterwards. SQ, what a great follow up there. It is gonna punch a ticket into winner's side. Downside to that range. Yeah, and, and it is what makes Zeta so strong because she can close that gap so quickly. And Zippy is going to be jumping up with the random pick, Lunalu, uh, which is now going to be Charlotta versus... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's the name thing again. Zero, gosh darn it. <laughs> Lunalu from Zero, Zippy on here. I need, to, I need that fix so bad. I need the name fix. <laughs> Yo, Nier gets the connection. Okay, a little extension. Sandwich situation. Nice. Okay. Sagger, nice. But got the late tech, so it's still going to be Zeron's turn. Oh my goodness, I've not seen this little electric fish hat yet on here. This is truly one. I wasn't going to say anything, but it's genuinely wonderful. I'm very distracted by this fish hat. <laughs> Cosmetics are nice. so cute for everybody, dude. I love it. I was gonna say, who was it? Uh, who gets the fish sword? That thing was like I genuinely very distracting to me when I was playing someone who had a fish. That's that's Vegeta. Vegeta? Yeah. Vegeta? Vegeta? Vegeta, yeah, that was that was something, dude. <laughs> oh, the frying pan from Vegeta too. Yeah, true. Nice dagger pressure does work out here for Zippy. That is very true, Cosmico. The fact that Zeron still got Charlotte pull on Olu Nalu pick is actually kind of broken. So if you pick random and you rematch, is it random again or do you have to go back? So allegedly, and I've not looked at this myself, but allegedly you can change the settings of how Lunalu works between matches. So you can set it to remain on the same character. I ran into another Lunalu player earlier that switched between each game. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, clean touch here for Charlotta. Push all the way to the wall. And now, time for that, that demon mix up. Nice. Another one right after, but not able to get the finish. There we go off the wall with the death setup. Four cards left here. Better make it count. I mean, you may as well at this point because now you're one touch away from death. The throw range even. <laughs> uh, uh, raging strike. We rage. I got her knocked down. Ice jump in as well with death. Full screen set up here. Raging, yeah, raging change. Let's get that follow up. 28% on meter. Mm. Still trying to build it right back up, but again, low on stocks. Pop over the tech, definitely good. Ooh, good throw. throw. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be the parry call out there uh, that Zippy had activated. Dude, just completely ignores everything Charlotta goes for, but there's the DP back into it once again. Life total not looking good, but there's still an opportunity here. Expect some guard cancels if things get a little too messy. Yeah, absolutely. Take your turn back, Ooh. but there's the anti-air. Yeah, beautiful 2H. Battle three. Yeah, we haven't seen too often the state where uh, Nier gets into no no death calls anymore, which is that counter that we do see where she doesn't get it back until it charges for, I believe it was 20 seconds is what is uh, supposed to be the charge here. Either way, it's a long period of time before Nair gets death back. Good EX pickup after. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's so smart. Using that EX specifically to bait, because uh, jumping back and just going for the normal to try and swan her on your retreat is generally a pretty strong option. Right, good 5 H pick up. Wants the Skybound Art. Will get the kill. All right, that is a game on the board for Zero. I'm not out of this yet. Believe in victory. Battle won. Engage. Yeah, I think one thing we're definitely going to want to start paying attention to in particular, and I think this will help players a lot as they try to explore defensive options against Nier, is to pay attention to the cards that Nier does pull up, because it tells you exactly what attack it's going to be. And much like other puppet characters in fighting games, or characters that do play like a full screen uh, strike game that does combo that way, normally there is a strong tell in what the character themselves is doing as opposed to what the puppet or thing that they are controlling is doing. It's much easier to react to the character itself. Oh no, but I mean, so far, I I feel like this is the best strategy I've seen against Nier so, uh, so far. Yeah, uh, you don't have to worry about death if she is blocking. <laughs> Just keep that pressure on. Yeah, exactly. It's, ooh, nice 2L takeaway. It's there are definitely gaps in the pressure of Nier. It's about paying attention to what Nier herself is doing, not necessarily. Death. And there's so much visual noise that's happening that makes it very difficult to recognize the proper situation. Like in some cases, you can just wait for Nier to get within range of your uh, uh, your guard cancel. That helps you gain some space. Jump H, though. My goodness, zero. Two one victory. Dude, yeah, what a great call out there. Able to completely avoid the DP. And in yeah. general, I think you a great usage of ultimate skills. And but I also, think the training mode has situational training here. built into it. So you yes. can try different strategies against the entire cast that give you, uh, you know, uh, combos for the entire cast to really get you started. They're not just, hey, do this combo. These are literally, they're called practical combos to look into. And somebody who's really been exploring a lot of this game on both sides, have a nice day and Diaphone. Diaphone on Grimnir right now with Have a Nice Day on Nier. I think we're going to see a lot of Nier as we get closer and closer to this top eight. I'm excited to see some Grimnir though, because this is a character that I feel like I have not run into very much in ranked, and I haven't gotten to see a lot of people play very much oh personally, so I'm very excited to get to see how this goes for Diaphone. Yeah, this character is a ton of fun. You know, I get Bang Shushigami vibes from uh, Grimnir, but also every single dash that Grimnir does on those seals gives like a dash hit, so you get some really cool looking combos. This character is all about looking as cool as possible, and they do that in spades with these setups here. Okay, but whoops. Use that dash for just a little bit of a pain, trying to go for the high, but that's an easy answer. Really, really nice touch there with the summon yes. of death. And no! not quite! Oh. Out of yeah, out of stock. That's why we didn't get a follow-up there. We could have finished, but just a single button. Please get away from me. Still gets the kill. <laughs> so we said Swift Master Grimnir. Hey, listen, the DNF transition, bro. We're here. Oh. <laughs> Tragically, Blue Link does not play Grimnir. So. Tough. Right. It's a nice block, and a little bit of damage there on death just to break through. Oh, he but is able to get the jab straight into the EX, and now party time. This is that situation you do not want to see. Here it comes. Oh, try to challenge there. Nice little spot dodge from Diaphone to keep that pressure going. 6-6-L, six, six, and si you notice it's sitting right on top of the seal, trying to get some utilization, or just remove it, so you could potentially set up another seal. You can set up to four, two too far up and down, and then too close up and down. And if you do EX, you get that little Z shape out of it here. But the pressure continuing from Have a Nice Day will get that kill. Believe in victory. Damn, no hesitation, straight back in. Up the start. I okay. love that so much. Look how quick you can load right back into this game. How quick we can start that round with the 6-6-L. It goes for yeah. twice in a row just to close the distance. Because running is overrated. I'm dash attacking. Dude, absolutely. Plus two every time. Free. There we go. What a challenge. Very brave here from Have a Nice Day. And still able to pick up that side swap. I think that's her age, right? The one with the purple portal coming out with the double hands? I believe. Let me double check again. Mm, that little step back, the hesitation. Fireball actually does break through. I love that little stall. These little dashes, the jumps into dashing straight to the ground just to threaten being able to go for that dash forward here. Keep your opponent a little mentally overwhelmed here. Gets the touch and closes the distance, but not too much for it. 
very cautious on the approach because one thrust confirmed leads into that dash hit, which then extends the combo even further. Y'all, play the, the combo trial for Grimnir. It's so much fun. I will say I was genuinely super surprised. Oh my god, speaking of surprise, gets the push away. What a save. I was surprised how good the combos they give you in, in the trial mode are. Yes, absolutely. Okay, there we go. Good finish. Yeah, to answer my own question, that was the far L. The double hands where she looks away with the orb out is far L. Her close H is a little bit different where she does the X. All right. Okay, all the EX. Knockdown, party time. Stagger on the five Ls. Jump. Unique act. I almost said jump dust. There's no sneak here. Five L does interrupt death, so that's a pretty good call for Diapo and able to take a turn for a little bit longer. Four stocks left, and that's a big spend. You have to make this next hit count, otherwise there's no death anymore. There's no specials for half my saying it's all neutral after that. Okay, well we have seen these normals do pretty well. It's not a situation you want to find yourself in here. This is closed a little bit. Try to go for the poke, but that's a really clean open up. It's straight to the sky about art. Jesus. Good tech, dash L's every step of the way. So quick too, especially with that dash back row. Right, nice. Oh, that was definitely a missed input right there because you kind of play a little volleyball game in that routing in particular for Nier, but have a nice day dropping a little bit early, doing another call for death and it goes to waste. Stagger pressure back to full wind again with Diapo. Good air to air. That'll be a full extension with 50% meter. We can, Go for ultimate skill to get picked up, but opts to go for the medium reset. Okay, our cancel is huge. Look, no BP. This is really dangerous. Oh. Any hit will kill at this point. Half yeah. your life on the table, but it's looking like nothing right now. Yeah, Diphone, like you said, Diphone literally, oh, well, there it is. Needed a touch to get the full combo. Two, oh, victory for Diet, or excuse me, for Have It I Stay to make it into top really eight. for. Belial, again, pinwheel is definitely a great option. Plus, uh, give me some sugar will also be a great one. That's a unique action there to parry from Belial. And right off rip, pinwheel to start, shuts death down. That gives Belial the opportunity to close the gap. Yo, EX command grab. You gotta listen to sound cubes, baby. Okay. Sandwich, nice tag, but unfortunately, again, 6-6 six, six L from Nier is so militant to be able to get these open ups and start that pressure. 5-H all the way, and a jump in. Nice jump in Saw 2 to avoid the ultimate skill, but the walk up back throw called out how to play. Tech was trying to go for a tech there, and BC just ended up not offering the throw. We can kill here. Goes for the medium reset again. Another great tech is able to find the jump in here. Tries to apply some amount of pressure. And unfortunately doesn't have the life total to even try and go for trades yeah. like that. Try to get something aggressive going. Yeah, I, I'm waiting too as the life of this game kind of goes on to see more confirms with Raging Chain. Playing a lot of sets last night. Really kind of show me that, hey, this is really beneficial to close the gap. Or just even, we saw it earlier from Beast where we just went for the Raging Strike to get that extension to maintain the opportunity for a Skybound Art. Or you go for the extra damage for an additional triple attack opportunity for going Raging Chain. Here's our Raging Chain confirm here. Three stocks left. And the side swap. Beautiful, that's the dash M here. And for how to play to take the W on that one. Going back to the room, quite possibly a character swap. And I do believe that's going to be. Oh, Bisu is on Belial? Siegfried, right? Hold on. Maybe. No way we switch to Siegfried. Siegfried's great, though. Um, it's definitely a comfort pick here for Bisu on Belial, but Siegfried also has a lot of great options with Fireball that does serve essentially the same purpose that um, Belial would be utilizing it, plus you, uh, the dash action that he has as well. All right, but yeah, we're going right back into Belial. Yeah, maybe just to switch up with the music, switch up with the stage, potentially, right. you know, just, you know, get yourself, get yourself mentally back into it. Well, Wrong I don't know why you would switch though, you know, man, we got 
Las Ragas team pretty good. Come on, man. Let's okay, on but me. what about Paradise Lost, though? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a good team. <laughs> I said Lost, to be clear. Two versions. Ooh. Nice jump, H. I'm not going to get anti here. Yo, the shimmy, and there's the call out here. EX. Get out of here. Okay, flurry and also the back strike is side swap. Got the medium pressure, and there's that guard cancel. It's going to be so important to recognize those situations because when you get that separation from death, but also you have the opportunity to make the approach against the opponent, and that is doable because Mir decides to make a solid approach. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to eat that one. Tie it up in BP. 5H will find the mark and the kill. Didn't want to give up the corner, and I agree with that call for the uh, shoot. The raging cancel? <laughs> yeah, what is no. that one called? <laughs> I, be <laughs> I believe it is. But I 100% agree. Definitely got to get yourself out of that situation. Recontrol the uh, recontrol everything, especially because your opponent's already cornered. It's well worth whatever resources it takes to be able to keep her locked down in that in that spot. Yeah, I mean, and it's unfortunate too because that situation there, it looked like it was a raw raging strike, but it was actually supposed to be the uh, guard cancel. And it sometimes it happens, especially when you stagger against an opponent, you might get called out by a raging strike. That one right there, the offensive raging strike, my goodness. Mm, and then the dash underneath as well. Another one of those sick follow-ups to be able to get through. How to play. He's sitting on one round away. Gonna punch that ticket into the top eight here. Great start so far. Using those projectiles and trying to use the pinwheel, like you said, to try and keep things occupied. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 6 6 L. Opens it up. Good. Side swap for the corner. And even still set up the medium summon for death, but threw BC right back into it. I wonder if there's a setup there potentially. But I don't think there is because of how short that time frame that the medium summon actually works out. Wow, ultimate skill by so much room pushes you so far as well. Death is down. There's a guard cancel 66L interrupts Bisu. Neutral jump to 5H. Death is nowhere to be found anymore after this ultimate skill. 20 seconds of survival potentially. Bisu with plenty of work and no battle points essentially here to stay alive. Alright, 2M, but no confirm with Asmodeus. Whoa! That's no! No! I, no! She was dead. She was so dead. With one BP remaining, that was absolutely about to be a public execution. And even at CEO Taku was a great time. And so I'm happy to see that players are still picking up DNF Duel, especially since it was just free and it's still on a discounted rate. But speaking of free games, Grand Blue Rising, another one of those. And we're going with Elsa up against Akito. Nier and Lowain. Proxy, how familiar are you with Lowain? I really like Lowain a lot. My main training partner in the original Grand Blue was a Lowain player. So this is one of the characters that I definitely had the most experience with in my early days of this game. I'm a fan. Let me tell you, Lowain got a little more volatile in this version of the game. Our grids look at idle. I honestly love just the, the dialogue here. I, I should have just stopped talking early and let this rock. I'll be honest. I feel like they are very similar to my own inner monologue, but yeah. <laughs> Let's get it though. Time to get into the match. Yeah, so we're going to see a lot more Catalina setups on top of this with, uh, you know, great health restoration, also meter build. And trying to deal with uh, HPA, the human pyramid attack is going to be a little tricky, you know, of course. At this point in the game, for veteran Grand Blue players, we know how to deal with Yggdrasil, we know how to deal with HPA, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get out of jail for free in some of those situations, especially how HPA interacts. Here we go. So able to absorb a hit, get a low. Loane can still take damage in this, but you know, these spot dodges, you got to time it, and the timing's so different, it feels like now. Dude, and the timing to be able to find the throw, leaving that gap intentionally here, goes for the jump in. Someone's both to the homies here. The high-low game works out. Is able to get the guard cancel, though. Very smart to be able to break out of that corner. Like you said, the pressure from Lewayne gets messy. As we find the throw again, you see the missiles, and it just puts you so on the spot. It's like the, the decision paralysis. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about visual noise incarnate. This is the battle to see. Visual noise from not only Death, but also Lewayne throwing all sorts of items on the screen. Has a parry. Slide through the DMs. 
counter hit with the heavy. Summon the homies, and we're still going to get reflected here. All right, we can guard break these. Oh, nice spot dodge. Oh, I can't believe I can't believe HBA had a spot dodge. <laughs> it's been like this. It was five before. Why did they do? This? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God, what a mess that was. Why did, why do they do this? <laughs> oh my god. They, they look... It always had a spot dodge mirror. room. I never seen anybody use it. <laughs> oh, okay. Bar cancel. Yeah, no BP. There is just nothing you can do at that point. <laughs> Comedy genius for two rounds straight so far. <laughs> Absolutely. Sauce. Oh, and new cheesecake with the Wraith. Thank you so much. Right, nice to you pick up. Actually, going to send. Jackpot. Five L. Trying to bait out some of this uh, the guard cancel potential here. Uh, double dealer with a twenty dollar tip. Sorry, you're gonna do that. No, you all good. Deal, double dealer. Thank you very, very much. Huge. What is this? They perfected the art. They just dodged they everything. What is this? It's you got to be ready for it. You know, there was previous tech where you just go for a 5L spot dodge right after because that was the timing that um, Lewain could attack an HPA. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. What does install do for near? I forgot. That's not gonna matter here. Closes it out off of that one. Jesus, dude. I mean, like, even with the super not working out, at least you got a ton of corner carry because you can just run at her while she spot dodges. <laughs> like, so, you know, we gotta, we gotta think about the positives. L. Infinite Heart, that's right. Thank you, Sonic Dolphin. Flurry strike one more time here. It goes light this time. She's not going to linger like we want. We're going to try to hold that down with the mediums usually. Good spot dodge, but an immediate follow up. Full send for the big chunk of damage off the HPA. Yo. <laughs> I love the cancel. You caught me with Rachel, so let me throw a fish at you. I'm good. Akito, I'm glad you're back on the wane. I'll be honest. This is... <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I feel like Akito never left. To be quite honest. Oh, no. Parry for parry. And actually, Elsa coming out on top for that one. Okay. Get the pressure up with the EX. Try to <laughs> test the waters poker when you can. Oh, two L was able to get a stand over it after Yeah, and you're not gonna see it so pop because this gets yo yo the fear like Elsa is not gonna press at all because why bother? Lowe's gonna keep coming. You're gonna get counter hit. You're gonna get carried. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! But wakes up and then it has to go for the counter. Keeper locked down. Pushes away with a counter of their own. BP at an all time low. You can't tell me it was always like this. It was not always like this. It was not this toxic. <laughs> it just wasn't. I distinctly remember I was cool with HPA before. We ain't cool anymore. We just ain't cool. I'm anymore. switching characters, bro. I'm playing the way in this. <laughs> six, six, L. Obviously doing pretty decently there. Get the jab, cancel death. A little bit of action with the robot here. Gets that poke and keeps that pressure going. Do not let her jump out. Do not let her escape that corner. Okay, HBA run up into it. Yeah, good Good luck. Spot dodge. Now we got the block pressure. Called out the spot dodge and able to get the wall splat. Oh my god, the clean to 
Oh, it's probably goes from so far. What a conversion. Battle two. That to you was beautiful here from Akito Base. Situation tried to shut down death. That was a really fine button press right there because she wasn't active at the time. RM, nice. Got the parry out. HPA one more time. There's no way it wasn't like this. Did he, I promise you. Did he spawn dodge to, to keep track of the opponent's spawn dodge timer there? That was kind of sick. Proxy it didn't used to be like this. I, I swear to God, it didn't. Oh my God. Check, it did not used to be like this. My memory might be hazy here, but I know it wasn't like this. Battle three. <laughs> I thought I was crazy when I ran into Lil Wayne last night. No, this, this is different. <laughs> All right, got that pressure, nice. Oh, he could follow up on the homies as well. Max meter at this point. No surprise. Time to get it going. <laughs> Did you spot dodge? Real shame. You're going to die for this juggle. <laughs> That's a perfect. <laughs> it's not going to be a good happy birthday. But... <laughs> oh, man. This, uh... This is going to be interesting here, too. Uh, so after this, the winner gets to go up against Bisu. Oh, okay. Believe in victory. Let's see how Siegfried gets it. Our, fir our first showing of Siegfried coming out on the stream. Yes, uh, Rowlet, formerly the Percival player. Now she is on Siegfried. Of course, one of the characters she voted for. I'm glad he got Siegfried. Really, truly. It's so good you got what you wanted. <laughs> How's that feel? A little too far for the throw, still okay. Gets the EX. I love that spot dodge. Nice knowledge already. Yeah, the EX one, you can spot dodge there. Um, you have to be careful on light, I believe. And the heavy, the medium, you just kind of have to go for a low. Stand L and this crouch M, of course. Definitely a great button for Siegfried. No follow up, didn't have the meter for Raging Chain. All right, got our guard cancel out. 6-6 six, six L and another guard cancel right back. So deal with pressure, we go for the EX Fireball. Yeah, and good luck trying to backdash on the crouch M from, um, excuse me, from Siegfried. Can't catch some of those. And they found spacing. Nice, got her back throw. Yeah, that was a very brave guard cancel as well. Put yourself into a, a dangerous spot for sure with the extra damage from the no BP, but being able to get yourself out of the corner, well worth its weight in gold. Here's the follow up with the EX. And kind of impressive corner carry from the 99 seconds. Already to the wall here. Siegfried forced to block it out. Ooh. Right, just had to respect it. The helm breaker there. Oh, spot dodge a little early. Low EX was well, not ready for it here, but got the Raging Chain pickup. Going to extend that damage. Look at that. The grip here. 30% left and beautiful dash button to get the kill after a Raging Strike. No, wasn't able to get the Skybound. Just a little bit too low for that one. Wow, as Slash GG comes through with the $100 contribution to the match arena puts us at 204 what a crazy contribution man thank you so much and unfortunately i don't know if there's anything i can do about that comment the comment i don't know if i can help you yeah honestly if we so if we make it to the uh one thousand dollar goal there's absolutely 100 percent a near in that comment uh but Let's just make it happen anyways, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's almost going to be Christmas. Dude, but seriously, Slash GG, thank you so, so much. Crazy contribution. Appreciate you a lot. Oh, no. Not the duck on Radish. Two, oh, my eight. God. It makes your anti-airs more effective. <laughs> it does eat your vegetables. The health That's benefits. <laughs> uh, what are the health benefits of eating a Radish? I'm better 2H, I guess. I don't know. 
Dash up for the throw, not quite there. Attack a little late, still fine though. Oh no. Nice skybound arc, follow through. Oh, we are waking up normals. I like that. Great press. I can't take it seriously with the radish. <laughs> it's how Siegfried holds back. Has too much power. It just beats you to death with the radish instead. It just cuts to this beautiful cinematic and he raises a radish over his head. I don't know, man. I just can't. <laughs> Well, it's like in Fire Emblem, right? When you change out the weapons all the time. You know, sometimes that's what happens. Or even in Grand Blue, when you change out your weapons. Okay, follow up here after the EX. Good. Marvelous. Good chunk of damage at that Skybound. Full stock of battle points on top of it. The back throw. Ooh, I like that. EX Fireball actually just to make sure you were going to be able to get the buff going on. So if you're going to make a comeback, this is the time. Goes for the 6XL. Guard cancel in response to it. But the EX back and forth between the two, spending all this BP to try and get out of the corner. 6XL. And the two you will get with punish. I think they both activated at the same time, but unfortunately, Lupro was a little bit slower on the draw, which allowed for that lingering hurt box to get called out. Animation-wise, Siegfried has one of my favorite 6 xls too. That big leg. <laughs> the boot <laughs> that comes out. <laughs> just kicks the door down. I respect it. Wow, you're really flexible to do that. Wish I had that flexibility. In plate armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, pull up here, not gonna be able to get the spot dodge, but still okay. 6-6-L in response there from Lupro, actually continue to maintain pressure as best you can, but you can't keep him locked down forever. Mm -mm. Two L, nice. You got a late tech for it, so that's a nice little reward. Oh, whoa! Nice, you got the back special, EX. Shimmy Wimmy will get the kill. Nice grab here from Lupro. 2 0 victory over Rowlet with a great showing to start things off with Nalu because it's fake. We can guarantee who this is going to be every single time. So you get our hopes up and you just smack them right back down. Zero. Come on. Battle one. <laughs> Engage. The Charlotte was looking deadly last time we were able to see it here, but SQ, SQ been making pretty quick work of a lot of players tonight. Yes. Through the brackets, it's been, it's been a lot of uh, dominant performances coming out from SQ. She has been on the grind. And Princess Elsa with the raid. Thank you so much for your participation in TNS today. Looking forward to your return as well. Okay, 6XL, goes for the guard cancel, pushed away, EX in response. And now all the way to the wall, Demon Flip comes through, and we're going to try and apply this pressure as safely as we can, but SQ with a great, not only great guard cancel, but a great angle on the jump to guarantee escape from the corner. L, good guard cancel, and calls out the raging strike that was supposed to be a guard cancel from SQ. She made a strong bet on the 6XL approach, and Zero with a noble strategy. Dude, shout to Lumpy. Just getting in over a year, 13 months straight. Thank you so much for the continued support, homie. Hope you're doing well. All right, goes for the corner reset here. End up hitting the combo limit. So great recognition, 2H. Okay. See, that rising rising normals like that only work because Charlotte is so huge, so tall. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> One of the tallest characters in the game. There you go, nice follow-up to come through, and it is able to secure the kill. Again, great optimization and routing to guarantee the damage in that spot. L, 6-6-L coming through. Flutter to push to the corner. No 2-H, the attempt was there, but unfortunately zero a little quicker on the fastball. Ladder does actually open up here. 
still keeping that offensive pressure thanks to that guard break, but the ultimate skill comes through. That's a full spend for SQ to tie things up in health. My god. Tried to go for the Raging Strike. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, probably was going for uh, another guard cancel there, and that's tough, especially on the jump in. And the activation with the super is enough to kill. Strong performance here. So I'm going to be able to take the game. And again, getting into the top eight here, it is three out of five the rest of the way. So we are going to have these longer sets coming through to secure ourselves as we finish this tournament. Whoa. Jump right back, the EX spin. <laughs> we backdash the 6XL to go for our own 6XL. It said the illusion of choice. <laughs> Got the low, look for the demon flip, it does find the touch. Interesting. Full screen parry. Nice. The dash up 5H counter hit with the raging chain to follow up. Oh, we didn't have enough feet. I'm looking at the wrong bar. I'm like, wait, now I'll spend the skybound, but that is not going to do. Oh, trying to go for a big shimmy bait, but again, we've solved that exact sequence earlier in the tournament already. Yeah, from the Dude, what a great spending of the meter. Again, ultimate skills are there for a reason. You've got to spend it. Big 5H. Harry lingering out a little bit too long, so we get 6 6 out for the trouble. Ooh, dive it on in. Ah, that was the right call. Just the 5 L was not far enough there from SQ. Is that Helm Splitter? Sp no, 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 no. That was a misinput. Absolutely. I think, if anything, that was supposed to be a ultimate skill. Sometimes you kind of linger on buttons there. Maybe do an input while you're doing the, uh, you know, easy input. Okay, got your throw though. A little attempt to shimmy back and forth. Does get a little bit of damage, but not very much here. That's extension with the crouching medium, but Zeta's gonna get the clean hit all the way to the wall. Dang, y'all really calling out Zero like that? Random super like that? My God! Hey, didn't get punished for it. That's what's up. Yeah, okay. Believe in victory. Can't believe. I'm trying to defend Zero. Clearly, I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I didn't um, doubt. You said it. I say shout out to Yoda coming through for the subscription for the first time. Thank you very much. And we are, uh, man, we are using Perry, huh? Kind of mashing it out there in the neutral, trying to catch something out. Oh, yeah, we forgot to mention top eight. All of it is first to three. I think we mentioned at the top of the bracket. We didn't remind you into top eight. It is first to three for all of top eight. Good throw. That's the guessing game you play after 6XL there. You might get scooped up. Might be tipping you pressure. Battle two. Engage. Okay. Up to come through. Hey, gets the parry. And the throw afterwards. That's a lot of pressure here. And oh, is able to actually bait things out pretty well. Forces the guard cancel in the end. The back throw comes through, though, is able to maintain pressure. Look at the life totals already. Nice, guard cancel, safe call, and what an air throw from SQ. Calling out the Holy Ladder as well with a good block. That follow up with the Raging Chain. Stagger pressure, nice, but got a late tech for it. One BP, and no, tried Dude. to go for guard cancel, and that's not going to work out. So smart. Went for the fastball after the demon flip there, lands right at the feet and goes for the jump over. Super clean bait, as you said. On top again, because she has such great tools anyways, especially with her EX hands. Uh, noble strategy is difficult to deal with. And we're going to get our first near mirror. That's it. We'll call it a team kill. <laughs> oh, man. Shutting things down a little bit. Out of play. Hey, listen. 
Maybe they can maybe they can teach me the ways of how to beat it cuz I man, I probably have a I have a sub 30% win rate against this character in ranked. I <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. All right. Nice tech. Yeah, again. It, yeah, this mirror match is going to be very interesting cuz I'm not quite certain on how Nier kind of kind of plays herself. I know how to approach it with another character, like any other Shoto character. I, think. I know how to approach it with Belial, I know how to approach it with Lance, uh, Percy, Gron, and Jita, right? But this one alone is definitely going to be uh, trade back and forth if you're spending your immediate Skybound art spend. One by one for how to play. Yeah, try to capitalize on this as best you can. Yeah. Even with this pressure coming out here, no reason to feel kind of overly pressured to do too much with the throw. That's doing too much. The guard cancel. We have plenty of BP to spend, and we're still holding on to that one single death input. No, the jump medium will call you out. I will say, chat, I do agree. That's the thing for me. It's the DP. It's pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things that you have to make that hard reach. It, yeah. it, it is definitely a beatable interaction. For sure. It's just recognizing when the opponent's going to utilize that. Del, the pressure up. Okay, and just like that, it's able to go for the block. They're able to get a little bit of a punish afterwards. There we go. Guard cancel out. Ooh, nice DP EX version too. So we got the full follow up and a kill. Goodness. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The interactions, they just go in such a hurry. Like we said, in this mirror match, particularly because this character's so good at pressing advantage. Oh! Uh, oh. We have six out here, and like I said, this is one character that I know can handle near. Okay, we'll have to see if the switch up works out. I mean, this is another character that is very, very strong, obviously. And also, mm -hmm. I believe it's six free week. So if you end up uh, taking a look at this and you actually like what you see, I believe yes. this is one of the characters on free rotation right now for you to get a try for. That is correct. Battle Absolutely. Uh, so in this matchup alone, the Fireball Games is going to be very helpful especially to create that teleport opportunity that Six has with the unique action there. Um, not unique, but just a regular special, excuse me. Dive kick to go through will actually kind of hit uh, death. On top of that, you can go for your stagger pressure to open up the opponent. Plus has a record series with that overhead. Things out. Okay, definitely something worth remembering on the interactions as well. First time that slow fireball from the air was actually interacted with from near was going to be a guard cancel here. So definitely keep that on the mental stack as we continue our pressure. Ooh, try to two H the dive kick, but got caught by an air fireball. Wow, I mean, you mentioned having ways to deal with this character. Uh, there's a pretty good one to stop the DP. Yeah, we're talking, this character does not have to commit right away on the forward approach because we do have the retreating um, dive kick that we can set up. EX Barrage, and we're out of dodge, but now we're seeing the adjustment from how to play. We're going to 6-6L six, six, chase on six, but then that ensues the mind game between these two characters. Good guard cancel, stagger pressure, just going for the stand L to make sure that we can call out the uh, guard cancel attempt. Unfortunately, overcommitted to that DP, and this is the price that you're going to pay for that. Mirage, get out. Ooh, try to go for oh, the skill dive. Not I like the idea, team. though. Coming yeah. from how to play, I like the spot dodge. As soon as you see that ultimate skill go to the wall, is able to find the throw afterwards. I wonder if that is like a super consistent timing there, because that was a very confident spot dodge from how to play. Mm -hmm. All right, aerial fireball challenge that was supposed to be guard cancel, but it kind of got stuffed into the normals. We tried to guard cancel off fireball, thinking it's going to be air type block stream. Oh, EX barrage. There we go. Got the full ground bounce on top of it. Far take your damage where you can. Yeah, 
Okay, a little unfortunate there. You had to send the BP there for the guard cancel. Did Ooh, DP oh. actually, in response to the fireball? Because how often has it been fireball? We dash up and pressure. Guard cancel got blocked. And, you know, have a nice day. Taking their time before trying to interrupt. Good game here for have a nice day. I just... <laughs> Just, I guess just to pull back the, the curtain for myself, it's very funny commenting match between two people whose gamer tags are full sentences. This is <laughs> it's, it's it's a, super weird. <laughs> Proxy, welcome to anime. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know. Hey. Kind of getting harassed with the 6 ls here, buying a lot of real estate. Good answer, though. Full combo setup. Tech backwards here, so we're not caught between near and death. Near death. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> Just got it. Air fireball. Oh no! I think we try to jump out of that. That's how we got called out here. Yep. Our kids back and forth. Huh? Got that touch. Goes for the EX. Overhead connection. Got the Raging Strike pickup, goes for Super Skybound Art. Should be killing here. I'd uninstall six if it didn't kill. <laughs> I was going to say at that point, it's like, yeah, maybe you maybe should just go back to Deer. You should go back to the mirror, probably. I'd be very upset. Here we go. The DP is lingering out there. Knock at the door. A couple five L's. I'm telling you, the more I see six, the more I'm, I'm thinking I dropped 10 spots for six. Oh, Same that's, function, that's where you're at? Just, just much stronger. I mean, look at the way the structured pressure is coming through. Goes for the EX, takes that step back. Mm -hmm. skill does beat the fireball, though. Ooh, go for the ultimate skill timeout, but not going to connect here. So that gives how to play the opportunity to challenge. Jump back, fireball. Oh, put yourself at no BP. You're risking it all. You've got to get massive reward on this next interaction here. Oh, no. It's the trade. No shot. Oh, my <laughs> God. Why can't you accept me? Oh, what a call out there with the Skybound art. One right now for Have a Nice Day. Six really paying off in spades. Again, yeah, you know, being able to recognize that you're able to take a turn because when you are sandwiched there, there are a few moves you do have. Like Catalina being one of them, you could thrust in that position, uh, especially like ultimate skill thrust would be great. You get that pick up after, or even thrust with Lancelot. Um, you'll be able to continue combo, or in that particular situation, off the corner and reset and still hold it. Six, still continuing this offensive pressure. Not to get that meter that we're looking for, but no battle points here. That was a pretty quick spend early on. Great Raging Chain follow-up. This should kill. No! Oh, no. no. Not. And now you're in deep trouble. No BP available. Throw him through twice. Takes two massive chunks and the follow-up with the ultimate skill for the clean hit. What are you reaching for? Battle two. Engage. Did she just say, get off my lawn? That's crazy. Nice follow-up. EX slashes. All right, nice parry. Maintains that corner position. Oh no. Side swap capability too. Yeah, we got the walk back, but the combo limit. Try to reset with death, but immediately after, have a nice day with the guard cancel to get out of the corner. Oh no, stop trying to tech throws. It's Grand Blue. Oh my god, and unfortunately there goes the rest of your life. But have a nice day with the switch working beautifully. That's definitely, definitely get in on this, especially, again, uh, it's free. What more could you want? Absolutely. And even if you're paying, uh, Jobber said it best when he was talking about it on Twitter. Uh, it is like one of the most complete fighting games yeah. we've seen at a price point. Under $60, definitely super sick to see. But 
The match begins. It's going to be Dive One to BC once again. BC back on the Belial. Yeah, this matchup, I'm very curious to see because on paper, I kind of think that Belial might have a little bit of trouble trying to contend with Grimnir if Grimnir really gets set up. Oh, nice. A couple late techs, and that does work out here for BC. Those are just techs because you're pressing buttons there, not necessarily a late tech in particular. Here we go, got that corner position. I think that's the game-winning condition there anyways. Like, in general, that is Belial's game-winning condition. But in this matchup in particular, not letting D Diaphone get set up is going to be very important. Not letting Diaphone have the move, the room to really kind of challenge. And that moment of hesitation there actually gave Diaphone the opportunity to all out. Okay. That's a clean poke. Not going to matter too much here. Gets to pull in off it. But no! Actually drops. This is huge. Diaphone, another opportunity. A second lease on life. Medium DP. It's going to be safe on that one. Oh, and nice. 2L call out on the Raging Strike. Stalker does get that solid tech. Go for pinwheel setup so we can try to prevent Grimnir going for those air dashes. And starting again that momentum for Diaphone and immediately canceling into guard or guard canceling to get out of that pressure for the jump in. But that's two BP spent, and that's a big opportunity for BC on a single confirm potentially. So Diaphone definitely going to be looking to get that Skybound art to build back up that battle point. DP, uh, great yeah. job being able to break things out. You all use the node to be able to go for the dash forward here. But like you said before, with that extra bit of damage coming through without even needing the Skybound art, it's one interaction left. Ooh. Looks for the throw, but it's too far. Yep, not too far. Try to go for the crouch medium, but got interrupted. This should be enough to get our kill is what we're looking for. No, EX wasn't quite there. I surely was expecting, oh, well, we didn't have the beater to do it anyway, so that makes sense. I was expecting another ultimate skill to back it up, but we were just shy of the meter to do it. Great 2 H confirmed to hold that corner. Yeah, I thought he could have killed two, uh, Shuabu. I really did. 6 6 L. Ball through. Terrestrial didn't matter too much. 2B again. The stagger is looking so strong. Knockdown corner pressure now. She's new to jump heavy. No spot dodge. Just has to take this hit. EX Asmodeus with a quick little follow up. It's a raging strike to get the final hit into Skybound Art. That is a grip. Oh, does just live it though. One touch. You had to spend that guard cancel. Goodness. Yeah, from that distance, things were looking a little messy there, especially with Diphone having spent all of that BP already. I wake up Raging, uh, Raging Strike though, when you saw that uh, the tech was a little too far away, mm. trying to go for a, a ridiculous punish there, almost <laughs> was able to get away with it too. Ooh. Yeah, we just saw a Raging Strike attempt there from Diaphone, and we do see Bloopy Bloops with the raid. Yeah, I appreciate you, I hope your stream was good, definitely thanks for hanging out as we, wow, the stomp comes through. Though in response, though, straight back into the corner. Ooh, that was a deep jump age. Holy cow. Battle three. Engage. Damn, the screen comes Kind of ridiculous. Trade comes through with the fireball, though. Welcome to the skies. L pressure again. Diphone setting up Whirlwind right in the face of Bisu. Nice overhead to get the follow up after. With throw attempt, Bisu trying to grab Diaphone in a moment of, you know, just a little momentary pause, right? Probably expected Diaphone to respect the wake up opportunity, but just too far away to get that confirmed. Okay, we'll definitely get the whip punish there. So yeah, Barry can extend it. Doesn't get very much off of it. And in the reset situation after the drop, Diaphone's able to go for the mash and get the clean touch. Believe in victory. Battle one. Stand ends, but didn't have any follow-up there. 
Get the win coming. The zoning war does work out in favor of BC right now. You can set up your pinwheels above you to dissuade the approach from Grimnir. 5H EX confirm off pinwheel. That's what regular Asmodeus is. Not quite in the corner to get anything further. Oh, that little step back. Doesn't get on the shimmy and is able to block the DP, but doesn't get very much of a punish here. Ooh, whiff throw again. Beast has been punished so often out of that. It's like, it's just hard to keep Grimnir grounded in the first place. So trying to go for a throw there. I get it because the opponent's so close. But this is the price you pay for guessing wrong. Wow, yeah, the sequence of dive on ridiculous there. And because the combo takes so long, he's able to loop it long enough to be able to go for the EX to set up those seals in the corner again, and they're so strong for pressure. Yeah, it was too far for a full uh, triple attack confirm. Hold this. Nice, unique action to get the roll through. Side swap. They get 5H. They are struggling for this position. And 2H does connect for Diapo for a good grip of damage. Almost got the extension. That was very close. It dropped a little bit early. Mm, Try to go for the fuzzy in that spot too. Doesn't quite work out. Gets pushed all the way back to mid screen now. And honestly, I think Diapo could have, uh, if the 2M hit, they could have done dash cancel with the, the unique action dash and extended even further. Go, trying to hold position. Raging Chain does confirm from Bisu. Not going to be enough meter to get a Skybound art, but we sent a strong message. Oh my god. Yeah, has to spend it back to push away. Okay. Absolutely just going to break straight through the pinwheel. Was thinking maybe there was an opportunity for that very active hitbox to work out and get the right. be a, run a little bit of defense there. Believe in victory. Battle. Day, that little bit of invulnerability worked out there for Diaphone. 2 1 lead. <laughs> yep, Shimmy definitely going to take the throw. 5 H. And a second hit, so we can't follow up with anything. A little bit of a spot dodge, expecting a, a normal to come through from Diaphone, and it just did not arrive. Spirit, nice. Good guard button and able to get the 5H, but didn't follow through. Check for the second time. So it's poking out with the spear. Yeah, using that ultimate skill. Great for being able to get the confirm here. And with the life total now, anything will do it. And, just, and that is a perfect sequence of events there because yeah. the life total is perfect for killing with the throw it makes that uh, dude the dash down so appealing for the shimmy oh yeah absolutely i mean eight way dash on those seals and it's again like i said dash hit so that's a quick little fast fall for diaphone to really kind of keep the opponent guessing X pinwheel, hold the 2M, mess around and find out. Big jump H, nice confirm off the whiff H from Diaphone. That is a grip too. All of the battle points stripped away. Not gonna kill obviously, but uh, the life lead that you have. Please spot dodge this way. Uh -oh. It was a perfect, please. Okay. Over it. Dude, the DPs have been crazy all set long. I feel like it's so consistently coming out, and the hit rate is absurdly high. <laughs> oh, no. And that is so unfortunate because the recovery is so quick on the premier deck. Nice follow up. Got the first hit of H. Oh boy, 2U and does activate. Raging Strike, Raging Chain follow up after. And with that, going into the loop, into the EX follow up, easily able to finish the conversion and the kill and the set. Diaphone.
well executed to be able to move forward through that loser's bracket. What's the word? Like limited in terms of like the flow of his uh, his combos in comparison. But either way, on to the next one here. Beatball back up once again, facing off against Zippy. It's going to be another one of them nears, but we're back with the fish hat at least. We faced off yeah. against Beatball, obviously the fairy. Been a menace here. Great use of, okay, a little up dog action to stop the first attempt at dropping death. Nice up dog stops death, and you're in a safe position because now death can't really do much. Every time from B Paw, the quick reaction go ahead, send death out, and I will shut it down. Pulls the block, a full screen situation. Nice pick up here with the micro dash from Zippy. Oh no, not holding block button, so got crossed up with 6XM. Too far. Oh, another one of the sequences doesn't get very much for it. But again, wow, even with all the great counterplay from B-Paw, all that counterplay was just kind of preventing the setup of death. It wasn't really generating much value there. Zippy, on the other hand, every single one of these correct interactions takes such a huge chunk of the life bar. It's so jarring to see death just floating up there after your end here. It's just, oh, she to, she's stuck with yeah, it's a little frustrating to be in this kind of scenario where you're playing it this low and this low, but I feel like this is definitely the correct call from B-Paw, but unfortunately, again, that burst option working out really, really well for Nier. Ooh, good tech. No, it was late. The 6XL follows through after the hula hoop. Pick up. Oh no, the spot dodge! On the guard cancel, what a read from Zippy. That's the, layer. That, that's the additional layer we're going to get into, Proxy. Eventually, we're making hard reads on guard cancels and still punishing them. I'm not sure how, as B-Paw, you're supposed to grind out more value in this situation. Oh, the slowdown, the hit stop on the armor gives you so much time to understand kind of what's going on. Yeah. I think B-Paw, you know, is doing great, trying to set up GG, really trying to shut down a lot of death. It's almost like B-Paw is playing a battle of attrition here to shut down all of the death opportunities, but Zippy is not spending EX, not spending uh, follow-ups, just forcing B-Paw to block. This is a beautiful situation, though, for B-Paw. Wow, what an answer there. Lockdown once again, gets the throw. Four stocks left on death here, but already a bar is out. Side swap for Zippy. There we go. That was a good risk right there to take. Yeah, it, again, we have our ball set up. Forcing Zippy to block with shift. Jesus. And being able to just find the throw afterwards. Super aggressive choice working out. And I was wondering what what you were going to do to be able to grind out the value here. B-Paul seems to have found the answer. Uh, when you do, are able to aggressively take that space a little bit more, when GG comes out and you're actually able to force the block, you have to, that's where the value has to be extracted. Yes. Or, you know, dash up throw, also pretty good. That's the thing, is that first game definitely seemed like uh, B-Paw wanted to play more passive. You can't necessarily do that all the time against uh, Nier, because you can kind of close that gap if you want to. Like, right here, you see B-Paw killing out death and then doing nothing with it, right? Just... I kill out death, let me try to sub GG, but the GG setup is too far. My opponent won't approach. This isn't like your traditional match, but um, with this likely B block, can kind of sit comfortably full screen. Just like that, is able to extract enough meter Ooh. to be able to set up for the ball. Guard cancel comes through, but still the pressure continues. Block on the wall rising attack from B block talking about before rising ja such a funny looking button i really really like that normal here we go though with the super we go. five h we can kill here or, or not there's still the kill. <laughs> still counts and there you go meatball answering the questions really and being able to get the even up on the games and it feels like this is the first time I've really seen a near in situations like this feel like they're having a little bit of trouble getting that value out of death. They're going for the high attempt to set them out pretty often, and it's getting right. very easily answered consistently. 
2M, shuts that down, able to get a GG set up. Up dog to force an unblockable situation. And that was a great reaction from B-Paw to force that. And again, jump L coming up. Good, perfect round for B-Paw. Screen so I'll just keep pressing M because I'm out of safe space. I'm gonna shut down the startup of uh, death. GG stuff to lock down quarter pressure again. Well, mid screen pressure, excuse me. Hey, mid screen pressure turns to corner pressure in a hurry. There's the knockdown. All right. Not gonna have to hold this death for much longer. Oh no, the anti air from death at full screen. Wow, what a sequence there. He's an the ultimate skill to be able to get the grab through death, not letting it stop the hitbox. She's just out of range. I think Zippy, obviously Zippy, trying to press a button right there, but 5H has such range on it. 2-1 lead for B-Paw, taking a much more active approach. Uh, looking like it's potentially the download here for B-Paw. Things have looked completely different ever since we've been able to get that value out of GG in these offensive situations. It's made right. Zippy play significantly different. And that's playing into b -Paul's hand because this patient play from both of them eventually, Fairy will grind out the advantage here. You're gonna run out of stocks. Yeah, Fairy, of course, unlimited resources. You know, just can keep sending out her ghosts. GG shut down death. That was great. Pressure again, not quite able to challenge death. Did you have the guard button? Roll through with the 5H. That was an insane roll from B-Paw, and it worked out in spades. But the life lead is in favor of Zippy for now. Did you set up? Yeah, we can hold this ultimate skill. Does get blocked thanks to that super to help out. Next death. I thought we had it shut down. That was supposed to be 66L to hit. All right, so we can set up. Now that death is down with two stocks left from Zippy. B-Paw has definitely been playing this battle of attrition and does win in one aspect. No more death. So now it's all B-Paw to turn up the aggression, but is down two battle points. Yeah, and down on life as well. You've got to find that hit, though. You did all of this work. You managed to get rid of death. Something has to come from it. If we continue with this full screen game, you are going to end up losing the war of attrition. Yeah, At least in terms of damage. Left. 10 seconds left on the clock. And now all that Zippy needs to do is, yeah, a hold B-Paw at full screen position. And there's the round for Zippy. Yeah, that's the important thing. If you're going to play the long con and you're going to play that super, uh, super, super passive, super, super just answering type of style, very much counter punching towards death. When you get that value and death is gone, it the heat has to turn up or you're just, you're, you're, he, she's going to do more damage than you. Oh, that's absolutely. just an inevitable fact. That's the thing, like, just the lockdown pressure, to your point, from death will just keep chipping away. And in the case of Fairy, she doesn't necessarily have that reach at full screen. Death can go full screen, as you can see here. Uh, triple attack, follow up, nice raging strike into chain. Wants to make sure you still spend the ultimate. Now doesn't even need to spend ultimate skill, actually. Uh, more than enough off the rip. Game five to come here. Losers side of the top eight things, obviously. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. So the yeah. nightmare begins once again. Off rip was able to anti air death. That's a real sentence, by the way. <laughs> what do you do? Well, off rip, just anti air death. You could do that? Me when I'm 90 years old on my deathbed. <laughs> It'll be fun. I'm going to keep living. Death got no mix. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich has been applied. Let's keep the juggle going. This is still going. Combo limit. There it is. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. And now with that life total, 
attack there. Okay, he's gonna go for the guard cancel as well. Good jump in, try to go for jump medium. Nothing following up after a little bit too high. So we're trying to get another setup with this orb. We've seen it before, taking advantage of the dead death wow. situation. But at that point, we need a little bit earlier. I, there's not really a whole lot that Beepaw could have done outside of making sure that GG hit Zippy to try to force a lockdown in that situation. Ooh, not able to spot dodge all of death, but what a challenge with the 5A to throw. Okay, gets it with there. It's good spacing on the dive kick as well. I like this, turning up the heat quite a bit here, even with the stock still available, gets the rising JL. No. All right, good lead here for B-Paw. Nice, got the grab for the kill. Okay, B-Paw evens it up a set dude around a piece Whoa. so crucial here quick reaction from b pod to go for this anti-air on death round start every time shuts down a little bit for zippy nice that's something you gotta pay attention to is on top of that is uh the the actual stock that near has you can judge whether or not you're gonna have okie okay setup situation upon your landing instead of trying to overextend two stocks left right now full screen gg no death quite yet and bpaw was expecting it but not at that moment in particular card cancel does get dodged zippy taking the game Getting strong from zippy even in a scenario where things have gotten a little messy Still willing to go in with the 6-6-L, not waiting for death to come back up. Right. I think a lot of players expect you to be a little more defensive in that spot. Well, having so. us come up in this time around with an even, even further extended full release compared to what they had last time. Because RPG mode was still there, and both stories are in this version of the game. Believe it's such victory. a complete package. It's great. To see. I can't stress that enough. Like $50 is literally... I, I fully expect to spend it 70 on You do if you get the full pass. But, like... Base value, 50%. Yeah, for, uh, for how complete the game is, kind of yeah. insane for sure. There we go, dive phone, getting that pressure on after SQ. Got that early little lead, but the early lead, not looking like too much here. You got four seals in the corner. What do you really do in this spot? Mm -hmm. Nice, same side. Yeah, it's a little iffy set up with the seals right there. Not going to get a lot of great warp opportunities for... Grimnir right now? I mean, you do have to challenge on pressure if you're right on top of Zeta. Okay, got our tech. Okay, a little too far for that one, but still is able to apply a little bit of pressure with the 6-6-L. That seal, that is menacing, dude. You know it's there. You know if he's able to push you to that corner, he's going to be able to apply even more pressure with it, but instead just gets the clean hit in the mid-screen anyways. Yes, indeed. Uh, honestly, that seal right there, back of my mind, because of the position that Zeta was in, the only threat that I'm looking for is if Diphone ends up getting right above you, and then you're going to get that additional attack after you get a little fuzzy situation. Oh, oh no, trying to challenge air to air. I'm willing to bet SQ, she tried to go for an air. Oh no, dash up, trying to get 2L, but Diphone a little quicker on the draw. Skybound on, are we still living? We're good. Are we good though? Oh, maybe we're good. No, we're not we're good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Scary stuff. Oh. I mean, we tried. <laughs> Better have tried than not at all. You know? Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Same one for Die Phone, and already whirlwind to begin. Oh. Dang, the 2H, big confer, but no follow-up. We did not have enough meter for a rage, raging chain. The guard cancel out. Interesting, jump back L from SQ, shut down the, at least the uh, raging strike. 
Okay, Mr. Kuyu. That was supposed to be hard knockdown situation. Better Oki opportunity. I'm still finding a way. Feels like he Ooh. always gets the clean hit off of this situation. Yeah. Hitting the combo limit finally, though. You know, maybe I do fight him here. This looks cool. <laughs> oh no, 6-6-L. Six, six, the and Menace. Yeah, I, honestly, it was supposed to be a guard cancel from Daifo. Instead, got 6 6 for the trouble. Already corner position. That's a great spot to be if you're Daifo right now. 6 6 L out from SQ. Oi, nice block and a great anti air. Okay, I like that sequence too. Freezing the fireball there to juggle mm -hmm. to yourself. Ooh. Wow. Big follow up here. Dude, huge shout out to Fats, by the way. Coming through with a 10 nice. gifted tier one. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate you. Battle three. Just like that, the round actually going. It's tied up in rounds. In the second game. Jumping nice guard cancel. Yo, that is super cheap. Are you serious? Yo, I'm guard button. It ain't cheap for me. I'm holding guard button all day. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, wasn't able to get the confirm. A little bit too high. Age. Yeah, unfortunately, jump L is a little floaty in this game, and you are committed. Once you press jump L, you're stuck in the jump L animation until you land. Wow, and with a round of peace, turns into two games straight. I do want to say, by the way, the TNS account itself, shout out to Lucas or Tong, whoever was on it, said it earlier, but uh, definitely following the channel, the best free way to support the channel. And if you're checking this out on YouTube, uh, make sure you guys subscribe. That is definitely the best way to support the channel for TNS, uh, and it's completely free. So definitely make sure you check it out uh, if you guys are enjoying any of the content that we are putting out. And uh, thanks, as always, for watching. Absolutely. And a quick turnaround time on the VOD. You're, you're probably looking at it because it does have the uh, chapter by chapter for each game set that is played. Oh, nice! Interrupt here for the anti air 5L. Okay. Hey, we got the so far slash little 6-6L action again. Yeah. Whatever it was data. All I hear is Doria! Doria! <laughs> no, wait! <laughs> he said, please! I wasn't ready! Oh my god. Zoning out with that fireball, really good anti fire, uh, anti zoning fireball from Zeta. It's just good for, as a like a like kind of a, just an annoying poke. No, that's there's nothing more heartbreaking than expecting to get the dash up throw. Like, yeah, I got the tick throw set up. I'm good, and the dash does not come out. Chip damage. Good lord. Battle two. Engage. Okay, let's get action again with the dash. Ooh, my god, the whip punish for 6XL, though. That's a roll through. That uh, 5H did not find the mark here from Grimnir. SQ. It's looking to be a pushback from Diaphone, though. A little bit of a shimmy, and SQ, she's not biting. One there. Yeah, so tough to figure out are you going to go for the overhead or not? Nah? That whirlwind is looking suspicious to me. Triple dash. Shut down again. Shout out to Beaker. Come through with the prime. 19 months. Thank you as always. A diaphone should be able to close it out off of that one. He's so mad. The raging strike over and over. What a way to secure. Why is he raging? What, what's he raging for? He just won. Why is he so <laughs> Exactly. It's ranked. It's not a practice match. I'm not practicing. This is serious. My life is on the line. <laughs> it sure is with two nears on deck. How to oh play versus God. Zippy. Oh, my goodness. We still have three nears in the bracket right now. Well, like we said, this is going to be one of those team kills, though. One of them yes. is going to be sent home at this point. And we will say one of the nears actually did have a pretty ridiculous six. So, you know, there's, there's potential for some swaps here and there. That's true. Back and pressure. Back and forth we go. Jeez, oh, that was a brave press right there from Zippy. Zippy, of course, with the fish head. How to play? No fish. 
That's the easiest way you can tell. Fish versus no fish. It's an eel. Aren't eels technically fish? Uh, man, no comment. I don't know anything about marine biology. <laughs> you got, of, of my, my knowledge kind of stops there. Another 6-6-L. Oh, late on the summon. Actually, that was ultimate skill summon too. So lost a, a grip of meter for it. Raging chain. We can't kill off of this. We will succeed. Good stuff from how to play. Chat says fish or eels, and Chat has never lied. So there you go. fish, eels are fish. So, Not fish or eels. Eels are fish. You know. Stop correcting me square. On, on the hat. All right. Square, Relax, square in a rectangle. <laughs> Not all rectangles are squares. Exactly. All squares are rectangles. You know where I'm headed. Uh, geometry also not my thing. All right, all right. <laughs> Go do with the EX. Gets the corner carry here. Our eel had a hero. So keeping that pressure on. Out here looking eel as heck. Oh, and that's it for me, everybody. I'm out. <laughs> nice block on the cross up there. Push away with the guard cancel. Oh, try to check the pad. That's a little misleading. You try to shut down death. There it is. The active gone. And we got our own ultimate skill to push off that corner. Too high for an extension. Ooh. Actually got a cross under by accident by the looks of it. That is an unfortunate position to be in. Ultimate skill summon did buy you a lot of room, but unfortunately, no. Actually, a missed interaction gets the clean hit. How to play. Teaching us all clean touch afterwards. Yeah, much like the the eels of the sea, that was looking pretty slick. Yep. Sandwiched up one more time. Big spend though from Zippy. How's your first time chat? Salsa is just jam. You wait. How long did you wait for that to be the one? <laughs> You're, we're and gaming. Now Luke, we're, Luke is never talking again. Like we are talking. gaming in chat tonight. <laughs> the six, six, First L. time log <laughs> Salsa's just jammed. <laughs> Does get the guard break here. Goes through with the raging chain into the EX. Very nice. Oh, we switched it to eel, by the way. Thank you to production for that, for the correction. Mm -hmm. uh, both deaths just synchronized swimming with the deaths there. A little unfortunate, but here, still getting the sequence back. Both of them doing a really good job of answering both these call-outs. Death never really getting to linger too long for either player. Able to get the jab there. Jeez. Have to check. I'm going to be completely straight with you. That purple cloud appeared. I had no idea whose special was coming out. <laughs> that could, could have been either of them because they were so close. Oh my god, what a guessing game on that one. I already got death shut down. Oh wow. Pretty very guess on that tech. It's tough. It's so tough to keep up which death is active too because they're both slowly colored. I'm just, I, I'm feeling you on that cloud. <laughs> it was a lot, man. The visual noise of this character alone is just cool. All right, there we go. Guard cancel will hold that corner spot for how to play. And another one, but that's an unfortunate position because we did the 6-6-M because we wanted out of the corner, potentially going for the cross-up opportunity. And how to play is going to get punished for it. Dude, and the quick summon after the combo limit is hit. Mm. How to play, setting up for success around on the board, potential 3-0 to come. Oh, 
The EX out. Nice flip to lock down the position here for how to play. No, opened up a little bit early. Yeah, we are using guard button, which is great. At least just holding back. You don't have to in this situation with guard button because Nier is on the opposite side. That's the direction we're blocking. For those that may not know. Okay, our cancel come through. With the jab, finds the low, is able to get the activation. Are you just dead? 100 meters. Very close. Not even close. You're super dead. Wow. Just out of range, and still, I really appreciate how to play. Trying to challenge death, trying to lock this down so we don't have another opportunity to push it out. But just like that, how to play gonna get put back in the corner by Zippy's death. EX with a flurry. I thought throw was good. I don't know why I thought a throw. It's so weird, right? So other fighting games traditionally, like you'll see a lot of like there is that throw loop opportunity, but I, if I remember correctly, it was like nine frames of like throw protection on wake up in previous Grand Blue. I think that that still remains. It certainly does remain, but just nine frames. I think might be a little bit off on the time of throw. Dude, no BP. This is really really tough here. Any touch will do it at this point here for both players right now. No shot. Didn't follow up though. I, he could have done a raging strike and would have wrapped that up. Otis actually, yeah, should have. So don't let that get away from you. 6-6-L will take the round. Oh, victory for how to play. Damn, way to secure it there. Getting yourself out of the mirror right before the mirror. everything happened with the pandemic. And then we got our nice little time skip. Little Tina Shippuden in action. It's going to be a very, very good time. Make sure you sign up now. Please save some money. Don't wait too long. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Don't wait too long, especially to, you know how the window of Orlando fills out. Here we go. In our winner's finals, Zerom versus Have a Nice Day. Believe in victory. Battle one. Yeah, you, you, you tell near. <laughs> Tall. Charlotta. But yeah, Zero I'm out here on Charlotta, of course. Have a nice day. I'm gonna try to lock down the pressure. And this is one character you don't want to deal with. Uh, especially too while well, holding back charge character Charlotta, right? Of course, having simple inputs kind of makes that kind of a moot point, but that is even more of a threat, especially with that bonus damage that you get off of a raw hit on um, input specials. So if you give a gap for a holy ladder to come through, that is gonna be a little bit more for you. Yo, try to go for guard cancel. We worked out halfway what we're looking for. Okay. Guard cancel did push away pretty well there. Lock down into the... Jesus, the counter hit. Extra damage coming through. Gonna get the activation with the Raging Chain. And Charlotta is actually gonna live this. And gets a jump away. This could be devastating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially with no... You have a Raging Chain. No! All right, we live and live it, though. We live it. It's not enough to kill. I promise. I promise! Thank okay. God! Woo. No BP had me a little nervous. Oh, yeah. I mean, I saw all that red. Nah, there's no way. But the chip. Too much dip on that chip. That will get the kill. First round four. That was nice I, I, you know, I thought for sure that we were on You know, like, Zerom had it with the hands, everything, but no. Okay. Jump over, looking for the connect. Then we get the jabs. Spot dodge punish. Very nice. I like that little delay. We're starting to be a little, uh, kind of recognize how active Have a Nice Day is trying to be on defense. Mm. All right. The dive. Stagger pressure. Expecting, fully expecting death to come out. And there it is. Full punish. Nice check from Zero. Great reaction there, too. I think that was the 2L to try to bait that out. Battle. Three. Engage. Ooh, good parry. Okay, put that DP for the guard cancel there. Very effective against a lot of bam, but the holy ladder break on out. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, spin it, one hit, two out. Oh. Very interesting start. That's the uh, six hits out the five H, I believe, there. From near. Nice tech. Okay, but the ultimate skill gets a knockdown. Huge frame advantage and tries to go for the guard crush. Oh, hands? Hands? Yeah, I was zero BP to one. Uh, someone was dying very, very soon. Not a lot you can do to get around that one. All right, so nerf near, please. <laughs> You're playing near, and your name is Nerf Near, please. All right, Proxy, you want to know what my name is in this game? I I've seen a police. Uh, what is your name? I'm glad you asked. It's <laughs> Have you seen Nicholas? <laughs> and uh, the the uh, inside my my card it says uh, Nicholas for We got the switch up though. This is okay. Honestly and truly. Six looked better than Nier in the last set. I gotta say it. it. It was super effective. Was doing such a good job of being able to go for all these different baits. The damage output was there. I was very impressed with the play and already starting off really well. Yes. Yeah. Relentless pressure. It's gonna be interesting to see how this works off against uh, Zero on Charlotta. We've seen this matchup before uh, in previous Grand Blue. In a comfortable spot. For Ooh. <laughs> is able to whip punish with the Berserker Barrage. A little action coming through into the super. Oh, 2L, I dare you to make a move. That was literally the 2L dare. Press a button, press your Raging Chain. Oh! Oh! Wow. No Raging Strike, we got the back throw. Yeah, the dance does begin. You know what's interesting? We don't get a lot of fireball from having to stay on six, which I think would have been great in that position, uh, especially when you have to teleport to back up with it if you commit to the fireball. Goes for barrage, complete whip. Yeah, this little slow down. I like that EX. Oh, the one hit into the confirm. Very nice. Do we have a side swap this? No, I'm just going to get the no, damage. Go Still good. Yeah. Coast to coast. I was trying to rack my brain of possible routing here, but the game does change quite a bit when it goes into Raging Chain. <laughs> Good block on the ultimate skill. Is able to steal that turn away with the 6-6-L. Six, six nice! No. anti -airs. Let's go. All right. No BP. So, obviously, our next interaction, if we do get it, we're looking for a Skybound art just to at least get a point back. Oh, you're going to get hurt for this. That was... Uh, going to be a grip. Oh. All right. I got scared. Look, Maverick hit me with that last night. A raw. Not like this, bro. This <laughs> is I died. Jesus, dude. Went for the teleport up and just starts mashing on the jab to 5L. Jesus, dude. He whipped like six of them on her downed body. Maverick, the point is that he can hear you. Come on, man. He said, what's up? <laughs> Sass the homie, dude. Hopefully we can have you out here soon, bro. Definitely one of the best to do it. There we go. Guard cancel. Whoa! You thought you could rage and cancel. Guard cancel, not allowed. Nice throw. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we spot dots in this on reaction. Hey, chat was right. Uh, they just be doing supers. <laughs> That's true. Call, call, back to the, call back to the chat. Y'all were right. I was wrong. Ooh, the parry. Good guard cancel. Try to take it back. Have a nice day, though. Looking down and out. Send the spin. I think that's a fair call out there, too, for a spin. Because what else is the approach going to be outside of dive kick from six? Another EX barrage. I like how fast Six moves his feet and goes like a centimeter forward. Like he takes at least four or five steps before actually moving like a foot. Big chip vibes with the uh, the quick feet. Literally. 6-6-L. Six, six, nice use of the fireball there as well. 
2L on Wake Up. Raj continues to combo after. We're in the limit in the moment. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, overhead. Calls it out. That was the aerial fireball. Caught the raging strike opportunity. That was supposed to be your guard cancel. Not going to hit. Have a nice day. Relentless with the pressure in corner. Yeah, evening up the rounds here. Super important swing game. You do not want to be in a position where you're stuck trying to make it, uh, trying to get ah. two in a row. Clean touch, though. So there was a time where if you were close enough to a fireball from, uh, and Charlotta parried it, it would absorb you in no matter what you were doing. And I think the parry just said, I parried the fireball, but I'm not going to grab you. I want to double check on that one. That was interesting. Okay. Slice off worked out. Hey, oh, nice no. jumping as well. No tech throws a grand blue unless you know you're getting thrown. Don't don't try to guess it. You have all the time in the world. Okay, good follow up again into the super. That will do it. Oh man, and this is a, a huge opportunity for Zeron and a tough one for Have a Nice Day. Two in a row is going to be a super tall task as G Tech. Comes through with a $25 to the match arena, bro. Thank you so, so much, man. Appreciate you. Happy holidays, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising Community. Happy holidays, indeed. We are $70 away. I rounded up. Oh, down, rather. $70 away from the $300 here for a top four payout. There's still time. Winner's finals. We still got matches. Lock on the ultimate skill. Uh, these two are just both going off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Right, Here we go, the full extension. Stagger one more time. Horizon, I said tall task because she's tall. She's huge. What are you talking about? Yeah, what do you mean? Clear as day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> are you alive? I hope yeah, you're alive. You're living. You're living. There was no BP, I was nervous. <laughs> I, was, I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I see why you're, you're wondering. Nah, you're good. Swords are revealing light, don't be killing like that. Nice holy ladder though, that one will kill. You know, it'd be cool if every time we go to a round swap with Charlotta's crown, it got taller. I'm down. I jump in, gets a throw afterwards. Block. Two dollar contribution for Y2K Rito. Thank you. Off the wall ultimate skill. Wow, and you get to convert. This guy's corner carry is so sick. Dude, I'm playing this guy. I'm dropping you should. Like, oh my God, the follow ups like this. Yo, and just forcing the combo limit because we knew we weren't going to kill, baby. I mean, you had 100. Yeah, the damage mitigation, I guess, wouldn't have worked out, but I feel like Skybound Art would have wrapped it up because Have a Nice Day is going to wrap it up with the Skybound Art of their own. Or, excuse me, Zerom is, rather. That's a 3-1 victory. Wow, and that is... Oh, yeah, Vera is on free. That was the last one I was missing. It should be... That character's fun. Gron, um, we had six. Vera, I already forgot the fourth one. I said them all. Previously, and now I forgot one of them. Anyways, either way, how to play versus diaphone coming up. Here's my project right now. I'm uh, uh, I'm excited to get to steal some text for some people. But like I said, into the match, loser semis. See how diaphone's able to get things working here. Has been the sole the sole representative on stream here of Grimnir, and has been showing off the strength of the character. Once you actually get to the wall, if you have access to the EX version of setting up these uh these like let's see the little totems. It is the unbelievable the amount of pressure you can generate out of it. Mm -hmm. But now you got to navigate this matchup in particular, and I think uh, you know another familiarity situation for Diaphone. Diaphone's very familiar with this character because they did play quite a bit of near coming into this, but not to put here on this one. The blocks. That's what guard button is for right there. And now we're out. Yes, using the unique action to get the dash attack. Oh my goodness. Ultimate skill follow up back to back. That's a big spend there for how to play. 
Okay, so card cancel. Nice tag. Oh my god, both of them going for the ultimate, but death just a little bit stronger. Inescapable. Inevitable, some might say. That's actually a fact until you anti air it. True. That's pretty damn all right, nice. <laughs> Stop it! Just back to the face. Let's be careful. No more uh, seals here to help Grimnir make that approach. Death is down. We can zone out, and there we go. Got our setup with EX uh, seal. Yeah, try to go to the ground there to avoid it. Looked like. Nice 2M, got a summon out of it. Good lord. And Brian ZG with a $5 contribution to the match arena. Thank you so very much. Yeah, closer and closer. 237 in the pot yes. right now. Closing in on that 300. That's so scary. There's nothing scarier than when he runs up and just hits, hits the node and just chills. That's oh, so like. Typo just a downward dash. Of, what are you doing? Well, why are you doing this? There's no threat there. I just wanted to threaten you. you Force you to, you know, do a neutral jump or overextend or summon death a little bit early. Nice. Okay. The wall here. See how much value we can get out of it. He is gonna go for the late guard cancel. Tech comes through in the end. Diphone is not able to get out of the corner with the ultimate skill. A spot dodge with the 5L challenge. Get that awareness. Gonna come in the clutch in this matchup. Able to roll through the ultimate skill send. Down. Able to get the 6XL. Raging strike. We'll get the finish. That's a game for how to play. Isn't like I have a question. I have a lower okay. question. Isn't Look. she? Doesn't she kill you in her win pose? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't she literally kill you? By the way, I'm just just, you're just asking. Yes. Yes. She, she does. <laughs> yes. Okay, just making sure. I'm glad you asked specifically about this game because if it was in the gotcha, I have no clue. Not, not a single idea. Just making sure. A, yeah, you're accurate. You're good. <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, uh, she's going to be the one getting killed, unfortunately, here. You're going to get a cooked right away. Dive on with a pretty quick round. Battle two. Engage. Yeah, you know what? Everyone's super friendly in Grand Blue. Uh, except for Nier. Nier is definitely not. Well, I think Belial kills you, too. Well, People okay. Kill you yeah, but Belial, you know, has a trouble pass. Okay. You know, I mean, honestly... Not fair what they did to Belial. The EX Fireball. That setup has been killing everyone today. Diaphone stops the EX Fireball right in front of them, and it's 6-6-M for the axe kick for the overhead. That is such a strong mix. I, j I actually don't think that's been blocked yet today. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Yeah, again, it, honestly, it's going to be really interesting to see because... Earlier in this bracket, we talked about like anti uh, near tech in general, and it's going to be fascinating how quickly players evolve to shut down a lot of this stuff. And I think that is just the benefit of the age of fighting games that we're in right now, of just how quickly that information gets shared, as opposed to now it's the mentality of like, uh, save it for nationals is not the mentality anymore. It's literally, especially in Grand Blue, try to learn to make everybody better. Ball slant. Nice, got the finish. Battle two. Engage. Okay, since your cell comes row, nice plus frames, finds the knockdown. I try to get the shimmy, put the vortex up. Still really shimmying out here. How to play is not biting on it. Ooh, the cross under. Actually, no, got the 6-6-M. Excuse me. Again, another 6-6-M. Able to block this time. Goes for guard cancel, but doesn't catch there herself. Only catches death. 
Down pressure doesn't make any approach. We only have three stock of death left over. Yeah, so we're only going to see single summons here. If we try to cancel, chip damage does work out. Nice stuff here for how to play. Battle three. With that round of peace. 6L gets the counter hit. A little Ooh. extension. Shimmy on the step back. Yeah, got that 5H. Far heavy, able to connect, and nice, unique skill for the seal setup. Yo, that was perfectly timed. I'm not sure if that was a hard read from Diaphone, but that was a beautiful situation to go for the jump Q. Kill. That's a 2-1 lead for Diaphone here. Believe in victory. Battle I do one. like that Grimnir tries to set up like a superhero story for everybody. <laughs> your, your move should actually be called this. Are you not going to find the mark and with Hunters from how to play? Oh, oh, I did not even see that side swap. Yep, that's, uh, you got me. Jesus. I, think I couldn't tell you if that, was, if that was 6XM or if it was the roll through. I, I think that was roll through in the corner. Challenges here. Whoa. Very brave. Close L. Or far L, rather. Moving on in. Good blocks for how to play, but opened up low. Nice guard cancel for guard cancel. Diphone really wants to maintain control here. But the ultimate skill is going to allow how to play to get out of this corner. And because we sent for a raging chain that does spend 25% of that meter, ideally, if you know the opponent is going to you know, cancel your raging strike, Hold back on going for Raging Chain to uh, save yourself that 25% meter. Because it just pushes you back, you don't get the hard knockdown. Or not hard knockdown, but the stagger knockdown situation, the guard break. Out of range of 6-6-L. Oh no, blocked the guard cancel, but how to play did not answer back. The 5-L gonna win out in this exchange for Diaphone. Cross under, not the ideal setup here for Nair. Let's go forward and another stagger pressure again opens up. iPhone trying to get a challenge. I think still thrust. Oh no. Two charges left for death here. And still a good grip of health available. Now it's gone. Diphone can just keep pressuring this offense. Because all that's left here for how to play is really just normals. While the normals are pretty good, obviously like the 6XL, stuff like that, still able to get the guard cancel. Trying to go for the shimmy, but we are content to block. No reason not to. Nice. Darn near an unblockable situation, too, because I think that jump from how to play would have put you in block stun for the uh, whirlwind, and that would have kept you in an unblockable situation because if you're caught with the projectile in the air, any grounded normal will hit Sarlata. Absolutely. Like, that is one 10 year player that we have seen for quite some time consistently do well with Charlotta. That is definitely, like, in this top eight lineup, like, yeah. That is potentially one of your heavy hitters here for sure. But the, the Grimnir was not expecting in the least. Say that, and like we've seen a couple times already, Have a Nice Day has had that clutch swap to the six as well. Oh, yeah, that 2L opens up. Does the combo ever end for you, Grimnir? I just want to know. I mean, there it is. <laughs> well, he does hit in the end, but unfortunately, even at that point, you're already at the total where the throw is able to close. Things get super messy to end it. Ooh. I can't believe 5H got DP. That's crazy. We're in neutral. I'm far away from you. Jump back. Nice. Got the anti-air with death on deck. Doesn't go for the resummon at all. We do have eight stock and a lot of work to be done. 
Raging Chain pick up. At least going to get close to that corner, which is very important here for Grimnir. Definitely a really good amount of damage to be able to follow through. Hops away, gets out of the corner, and now the potential to be able to set up, but the jump over, and unfortunately, the jump over doesn't quite create enough space to be able to get away. That's an easy anti-air, and Diaphone is going to cash out for game one. World wins here, and immediately jabs out, like, great knowledge check from uh, Diaphone here, like, just jabbing out death on that opening interaction. Doesn't give the opportunity for Have Nice Day to make a follow-up. This DP is such a problem, though. It's one of those situations you can bait it out, right? So you do the dash up because it is a uh, a parry type. So you do just dash up, you can grab. Uh, it's just as long as you don't put a hit on top of it. But in a game like Grand Blue, because of that extended time that you have off the knockdowns before you can actually do another throw, it, you usually, uh, wow, you know, the moment I talk about it, it happens. But usually you don't see a lot of that happening in Dude. Grand Blue in particular. The double dash into the standing lights, 5L as you land. That was such a sick follow up and such a sick sequence. Diphone gets another round on the board. And now, Slowly but surely, starting to threaten that potential 2-0. And if things get a little too out of hand, we might be headed to the, uh, might be punching a ticket to the grand finals here. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because for ultimate skill, a little bit of a setup here to get the seals going. Wow, nice bait, nice bait. That's so nice. Especially too, we can follow up. Raging chain, or just strike, excuse me. But that's such a great setup because you go for a quick uh, situation off the overhead. Like, it's just such a quick overhead to do a, a jump, get right back down to the ground to whiff punish maybe a light or even a throw in that situation. Like, that is spectacular from Diaphone, just that corner setup. Oh, so we've seen a couple switches tonight. This is not what I was expecting. Okay. First nice time all night. And I'm pretty sure uh, I was having some conversations about Beelzebub. Uh, some of these ultimate skills really helped out tremendously for this character. Uh, also, the uh, enhanced gravity well now, too. That is very strong compared to react to those situations. EX bubble for the damage. There we go. Charge, dive. Yeah, that whirlwind is not going anywhere. Kind of lingers a little bit longer than you might think. Nice teleport. Got the guard cancel out. He's the last BP on that guard cancel, though. So now your life total oh, yeah. is oh. forfeit. Goodbye, soldier. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Got a raging strike and two guard cancels, and now you are just gone. Don't give up those battle points. Yeah, if you're going to be giving up battle points, you've got to make sure you're going to back it up with a, uh, eventually building up the, the, uh, BP. So that's going to be done with either your standard Skybound art or Super Skybound art to get a couple back. It's just, didn't have the meter to even confirm that situation. Right, nice EX dive kick. Get that corner position once again. EX nail. Not your turn quite yet. Too far for the Raging Strike. Okay, and then the guard cancel the answer. One PvP remaining here for Diaphone. 6-6-L six, six, the game. Trying to be very aggressive on that one. Abuse those plus frames. Oh, yeah, it doesn't get the animation, but that does work. Gets you out of a very bad situation. Strips some battle points away from uh, uh, from Diaphone. Even, so you're going to get that extra damage. Ooh, drop the combo off the ultimate skill here. And now forced into a situation. Does get the back throw, though. Oh, a very rare miss on 2H from Grimnir. Like, Grimnir's 2H pierces the heavens. Hey, Yurikov, the homie. Good to see you, buddy. Appreciate you as always, man. Thanks for all the support. Snail off the wall. The further. Just got the toe tap for the pickup. He's back and forth we go off the guard cancel. Which was just a touch early here. Went for the Vortex. DP. We have not seen a lot of that from Diaphone here. Finally letting it rip. Oh, 
see how that neutral jump will avoid the skybound art entirely. Full extension and set up in the corner. Tries to go low this time. Oh my god. It ends up with the kill. Have a nice day. Gets the turnaround and is able to start building a little bit of momentum going to this. Oh, yeah, charging up the dive kick will connect in a safe distance. That 5A is trying to come through, but Grimnir a little quicker on the draw. Shout out to Nier, by the way, with the Prime. Three months. Thank you, as always. This one here. Potentially could anti air. It's just the staggered timing of being able to charge that dive kick. And the full follow-up off Raging Chain will get that kill. Good round. Battle two. Engage. Okay, holds the projectile for quite a bit. Same situation here. This is the guard cancel just to be able to get out of that. You do not want to get stuck in that situation for too long. But the EX dive kick gonna try and force it to happen. Yo, wait a minute. Yeah, that scary pressure in the corner and Diaphone respecting it all day. No guard cancel. Was able to push out. Look at the position around back in the mid screen. Spot dodge. Yo, 6-6-L. Raging chain follow up after. I mean, just the tension in the room for this one here, too, especially in this mid screen scenario, because they both know they are one confirm away from death, essentially. Diapho needs one confirmed for sure. Have a nice day. Might need a couple depending upon the routing we take. We do have corner opportunity for them though. Okay, the activation. Hold on to it, yeah. Good challenge. Yeah, unfortunately put you in a weird spot there. Around a piece. Diaphone again is gonna be threatening the set here. Have a nice day. Who again, just to note, is this is the third character we've seen them play at a super high level tonight. On the verge of making this a game five. That's true. Yeah, I mean, there's a few players out here in uh, Grand Blue that actually have that capability, right? Of just being able to play the entire cat. It's, it's pretty awesome at this point. Right, dive. Stagger pressure with the 5H. Nothing happened. Not even confirming. Yeah, fishing for the guard cancel is what we're waiting for. Yeah, that fireball from that perfect spacing and just kind of obliterates the defensive choices and moves us on to grand finals. Game plays a, a whole cavalcade of games, including uh, Guilty Gear, has played Street Fighter on top of it, so has that great understanding across multiple fighting games, fundamentally uh, being able to do well um, in this game alone because this game does really support fundamentals and such a great, if you're looking for grounded neutral, I mean, this game does have it for you, folks. Like, it, it, it does really support that. You know, except this guy, the, uh... Wait. <laughs> this guy here. Flat, flat around a little this bit. guy is anime. Oh, man. This is going to be a tough one for sure. The grand finals of the first TNS Grand Blue event here. The first, but definitely not the last. Time to get it started. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Start. That's actually a great button to have. You have that first initial hit on the 5H from uh, Grimnir, and then you get that extended spear right after. Sets up the Whirlpool right there for uh, Wind Vortex, 6-6-L. And it's so scary that this, the far L from uh, Grimnir is a low, much like uh, Matera's far L. Okay, Let's step away, gets a connection on this one. Dashes up, and that stagger finally does work out, but doesn't get a full confirm off of it. Spot dodge, probably wait. Seriously, 
trying to call out for that guard cancel, and the moment that uh, we got the confirm, we're definitely going to go for this Raging Chain. Uh, strike, axe, or damage? My goodness. Battle 2. Engage. Whoa, side swap. Yeah, able to interrupt. I think that was the 5L starter. Super aggressive start here. Then we get to the wall. We can be able to set up the, uh, all the nodes. Gets the punish on the attempt at the throw. We've seen this exact sequence so many times. And the combo lasts just long enough for him to be able to get that set up again afterwards if he so chooses. Instead, the super is just going to kill. And that's going to be a perfect round on the board. Jesus. Uh, definitely a great round for Grimnir. <laughs> Alright, so now it's Charlotta's turn to hold this corner position, and we opened up at the wrong time. A great 5H from Diaphone. Nice. Card cancel. Right back at you. About even on battle points here. Bravery points, rather. It jump over looks pretty decent here. Try to go for the reset. Does find the open up. The touch Damn. comes through, and that is the first game on the board here. The winner side player getting that momentum is huge, putting Diaphone in a tough spot. Diaphone obviously coming from the losers, having played significantly more games here. This is a, starts to be a mental grind at this point. <laughs> Ooh, good tech. I mean, that is so much of uh, Grand Blue in a lot of cases. Now with... Uh, the war of attrition when it comes down to your meter usage, your bravery points. When are you going to spend that guard cancel? Because I might spot dodge it just to get the punish after. I see a ton of people have asked, by the way, you can choose who the random select will pick for you. So this is random select, but it randoms between only Charlotta. <laughs> this is uh, this is different random select. It is not like Grand Blue versus random because that's yeah. how it worked before. This time around, they, they let you because, you know, it's a shame you have Luna Lou, but you don't actually get to play her because you're not good at the entire cast. Now you can choose. Jesus, dude. All of that coming off of one big spot dodge there from Diaphone. A great defensive call out. I love how much this game gives you the ability to be active on defense. Nice. I'm just jumping to interrupt. That's great. Nice. Parry held on to it. Great unique action there from Zeron. Building up the meter for those hands and already had the guard cancel. Yeah, it's just outside of the range. That spot dodge was a fine call. Could have been a challenge. Shut down the startup. It was going to be the fireball starter there from Grimnir. Tried to look for the reset, but the guaranteed yeah. kill off of that too. Has 100 meter. Card cancel pushes away. Anything will do it for either player now. Especially with that low BP for Diaphone. Oh, no, no. What a reaction from Diaphone. And that was just easy input, which, hey, I don't need actual inputs when I'm guaranteed a kill no matter what on this. Believe in victory. Especially, too, since the damage no different because of raw hit. Ooh, the parry not going to work out. Just outside of the range of punish on both sides. Yeah, and showing off a little bit of the weakness of the 2H there. Obviously, an unbelievable vertical hitbox coming out from Grimm's uh, 2H, but not quite the greatest when it comes to horizontal. But that DP, that fixes it. Oh, shut down. Yeah, that was supposed to be guard cancel. Fortunately, we didn't use a bravery point on that. Ooh, trying to jump out. Still got 6 6 l No punish here. Still safe on that ultimate skill. Holy ladder. But sitting right underneath the whirlwind is definitely going to help out here for Diaphone. All overhead dash ups. That's uh, M, right? No, M is low. Heavy is the overhead. There. Reason the fireball a little bit early. Space is out, but a little too far. Dang. Raw raising strike. Again, one of those situations was supposed to be the uh, guard cancel, but because of the gap left behind. Okay, 
spin in. A little bit too far away for that one. That 5H will find the mark. Uh, the perfect whip punish there. Ends up with Charlotta yes. just being able to hold up forward. Get a good amount of pressure there. And is able to get the reset with the DP. Good answer. Uh, yeah, really trying to call out with the parry. That's a fair bet. Especially the position that Diphone likes to strike from when there's that whirlwind there. No, Helm Splitter does work out here. Uh oh. That sit sequence has come up a lot. It's been a ton of wake up super in situations like that. Should be able to close this one out. It's going to be very close. Nah, I don't think it's going to be close. Oh, it's dead, dead. I remember the uh, the life total soon. It's like, plus it went down to one BP. You're just super gone. All right, well, 2 1 lead for Diaphone. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Heck. Holy ladder for you. What a jump in there. And it was trying to call out, our uh, dive phone was trying to call out that 5H. Ooh, and that's so unfortunate. There are some moves that characters will recover much faster anyways. Like th it's too fast for you to punish if you spot dodge. And that was definitely one of them for uh, Grimnir. And the same thing again, able to sneak in a throw right after. Okay. The 60 shell into spot dodge feels like it's like the, uh, definitely the sequence gets the ultimate skill twice in a row though. What a follow up into the kill, dude. That's such a silly looking confirm. <laughs> oh, deep cross up, walked into it, and Holy Ladder, a desperate one at that. Not able to get that pick up off the wall bounce. The 2H was ready for it. And it's such a perfect 2H because it hits right above Grimnir, so the cross-up isn't as terrifying if it happens because of how the hurt box kind of lingers right above Grimnir's head. Just a Dark Raven, by the way, coming through with the sub. Appreciate you coming through with the Prime. Thank you very, very much. Damn, double 6 6 L. A lot of good amount of pressure afterwards here. DP is going to set up the sigils. Time to rock. Ooh, good block on guard cancel. Take to the skies. Great confirm with the dash. Unique action. Was it? Oh, dropped a little bit early. Wow, but straight to the ground with the follow up and the kill. Diaphone is going to get the reset. Okay. So, Charlotta is a little misleading, Speedy. Charlotta is average height, thanks to the crown being also a hurtbox. So, so, this is Trip, by the way, coming through with the Prime. Again, thank you very much for the support, and to everybody who's been supporting the channel all night long. Appreciate you all very much. Like, I appreciate the throw bait here. Good look at that punish there with the dash down. Couple EXs in a row, a perfect comes through, and Diaphone has momentum. And is there a player scary to have this that kind of momentum? Mm-hmm. Roman set up. Got a couple seals for you, and beautiful holy ladder to Antier. The instant air dash from Grimnir. On his hands, we're gonna build a ton of meter for it. Unfortunately, got crossed up here. Ooh! Right, got our raging chain. One bravery point left here for Diaphone. So, oh no, trying to get guard canceled. We gotta be so careful. The confirm can seal the deal potentially. This needs to route, yeah, just shy of the 50%. If we got 50, it would have been ultimate skill to extend just a bit further. Okay, good response. What a reaction to stop. Dude, one ultimate skill, the only way to stop the other. Jesus, Jesus, man. Go invulnerable, so can I.
Diaphone is just moving a little different here in the reset, man. Potentially the download might be complete here, but already pressing the corner now. All right. Full spin. That's a good round start here for Zero. I'm not walking anywhere near that 5L. No. <laughs> Keep it away from me, bro. Who does that? Kick people in the shins? Really? That's your move? Rude. With the steel toes on, even. Oh, no. Good spot dodge, but unfortunately, not a whole lot off of it. Just enough to get out of the corner. And I guess, well, honestly, that's more than enough against Charlotta. Okay. EX Fireball didn't get, dude, EX Fireball got no value, but he still finds a 2H afterwards. A hell of a sequence, man, and you're just dead. Jesus. <laughs> Tied up in rounds. Nice neutral jump from Zero. Six six L pressure spot dodge expecting a guard cancel from Diaphone. I'm not quite fighting yet. There it is with the throw. But now we own the corner. Mm, the double guard cancel again once yeah. your health is at this kind of total. It's not too bad to use your BP. There goes the okay. Yeah, that so that does if you get your you're gonna get uh, without seals you can still do your dash attack. Oh no, the air to air almost happened. Got a guard cancel. If we keep this pressure true, we can kind of bully Diaphone into uh, chip range here. Definitely in throw range, obviously. Oh my goodness. We're safe though. Holy Dude. ladder right after. That's fine. That you take sequence. that because you see the life lead that you have. There's no reason to worry about it. He keeps doing that and it keeps hitting. It has been so consistently destroying people because they try and dash up and take some advantage. <laughs> any any crumb of advantage that Charlotta gives you, you feel like you've got to take it. That's, yeah, honestly, you hit the nail on the head right there. Any opportunity to take advantage away from Charlotta, you do have to run with it because she is always able to kind of retort back and for a character like Grimnir, you do have opportunities to interrupt. Like uh, Ultimate Skill DP is a great tool, um, but she can still smother your pressure very quickly, uh, with especially with the X hands, trying to deal with uh, uh, um, Noble Strategy. I'm taking a moment here by the looks of it. You know, water for sure. Everyone hydrate up. As one does. Maybe but have also, the, uh, maybe yeah. we'll go for a switch up of characters too, potentially. Yeah, absolutely. It's also tough to, uh, you might need a moment if you've been hit that many times by, all right, I did my EX wheel, it got blocked, and then right after, my opponent decided to EX DP. Not just any EX, ultimate skill. Hmm. Versus Grimner. Grimner still sticking with it. Yeah, I do think that's the right call. I mean, both players have been pretty uh, pretty steadfast on their character selection and have both looked very, very strong. I don't think the matchup is going to change too much for them. Okay, I'll throw in yeah. the corner. Keep it pretty going. Life lead. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and it comes up quick, too. There we go with the auto combo, though. Is able to get all the way back to the wall. Mm -hmm. oh, Took a step back. Yeah, that's a safe call. Probably looking for that holy ladder attempt. Nice Pick up was 5-8. Now we got our setup here with the seals. And really, I love the mind games that both of these players have been representing in the corner because both of them are really trying to bait out uh, the guard cancel. And it's caused them so much offensive pressure. And like I said earlier in this bracket, the mind game around bravery points alone is going to change how you approach 
uh, corner pressure and offense, but it doesn't change how you approach the Maturino because Pong giving that 1195 into the pot. Thank you so very much to put it at an even 250. So that means 50 more dollars for the guaranteed top four payout. Oh, guard cancel straight into the demon flip. Way to establish pressure, but the air dash gets you out of the corner, but not quite out of the grips of Charlotta. Does get the uh, the guard cancel is very strong in that spot though. Okay, there we go. Raising chain. Being able to get max range 2L into Bra uh, into the uh, into the raging chain is so strong for so many characters to be able to get that launcher opportunity oh that you don't normally it. have. Jesus. And the mind games again. So. The recognition here is that, oh, Diabone spent full bravery points on this. There's nothing left. All I need is a single touch. And I know that Diabone wants to hold this corner, baits out the DP or because it's not going to be uh, a guard cancel anymore. Once PP rips, you know you're sending it over. Unfortunately, it was able to finish, but that next reset was going to get that kill. Zeram on tournament point. Oh, man. Counter hit definitely big. Ultimate skill sets up the uh, sets up the clip once again, but there we go. The cross up goes deep as Brooks comes through with a fifty dollar. Says let's pay out the top four, puts there it at an even three hundred right at the buzzer, dude. Huge shout outs, thank you so much. All right, good round here for Diaphone. Right, noble strategy goes for the dive kick. What a challenge here with the 5L. Dang. 2H, not a lot to jump in on me. And already has the whirlwind set up to wall splat with the EX thrust. And Tong right back at it with another $25. Man of their word. Damn, dude. Huge shouts to him. Thank you so much. Again, 325 in the match arena it continues to grow <laughs> we're all tied up two all the set this is it folks the final game of the night say throughout all of these tournaments there's been so many game fives finally bring us here to this grand finale only ladder to come through really try to call it with the parry and a full stop from diaphone Saving up these seals just to give opportunities for approach, opportunities to confirm. You're just standing on that thing too, just yeah. kind of threatening <laughs> just enough, just in case you know I can burst through. But here we go. Throw into the corner. It's a little too far for the secondary throw though. Hands. All right, you're going to leave a gap here. It's a full respect from Zero. Nice dash up, just a regular L and nice raging strike. $25 contribution from I have never 360 no scope. Neither have I, I'll be honest with you. Merry Christmas, TNS. Dude, thank you again. 350 in the prize pool. There's the DP. Oh my god! And goes for the uh, people told me th that she's got Blanca elements. And I never saw yeah. it until right there. Goes for the ball, cuts it short, and is able to get the low afterwards. Tournament point. She's the mix. She's got Blanca, she's got Akuma, and uh and E Honda. What more do you want? Coyote. Coyote with a $20 contribution wants more, though. If we get this to 600 before the night is done, that is the top six payout. The iPhone trying to end the tournament before that happens here, trying <laughs> to set this up to be one to one on the rounds here again, just threatening Ooh. on the seal as long as possible. Gets the guard cancel and gets the end here. Yep. to kill let's oh go i can't believe it final game final round of the first grand final for grand blue fantasy versus rising at tns and the clash of the start dive gets the better of it and gets a huge anti-air arden with a 30 dollars contribution potato on top charlotta another Oh my god, what with you that activation yeah. into the super diaphone from losers is gonna be able to take it is gonna be your first champion for Grand Blue. Oh my god, what a sequence and what a tournament from this guy.
Absolutely. Wouldn't have it any other way. A good welcome back from Diaphone. 